Hello and welcome to Academy Lanes here in Hingham, Massachusetts, where we are broadcasting from the left side. Off to the races we go, Jimbo Ayat and uh, Chris Jones throwing the first balls. We got the number three and number four teams, Greg Guiar and Paul Grant will be on the call. Chris Jones has lit, has dropped the first spare. And that'll be a 10 for Ayat. Actually, a pair of spares. Now, Paul, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Bob. Okay. Hi, Bob. Happy New Year. Greg Gouillard. Thank you. Gouillard, thanks for being with us again. Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Haverhill, Mass. Packed house tonight. Battle of three and four. Chris Jones out of Webster Timber Lanes, Abington, Mass. Seven in the spare, 17 through one in the first of three. Jimbo Ayotte for Academy 2, 278. Ditto, 17 through one, first to three. Chris Jones, back to back, 27 the ball through two. Jimbo, tough relief. God, oh, what a shot for that, what a spare. Terrific shot, matching spares, 27 apiece, plus bonus balls. Great start for them. We are recording live. Uh, we're gonna, we are recording this actually. So if we lose the stream, it will be up on YouTube on Candle from Bowling Network later tonight or tomorrow as well as there's a Wi-Fi challenge here at Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. So thanks for your patience and understanding. We try to bring it live as best as possible. Sean Baker filling in tonight for John Zappi. And there's a two spot. Won the best New Year's five out of seven tournament at Riverwalk Lanes, Amesbury, Mass. Five in that first ball. Austin Barnes for Academy 2 on lane 3 with a 5-6-10. The Canadian setback shot, Sean Baker on lane 4. Baker missed left, leads up the 1 and 10. Yeah, I noticed. Looks like the stream is not going to Looks like the stream's not going to work out terribly well, so Turn this up. Barnes trying to kick it over. Good try. Sean gets the 10. Austin Barnes gets a 9. So a one pin lead for the visiting team Hingham here at Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Friday Night Pro League, game of the week, every Friday night. 35 weeks during the regular bowling season. The playoffs are at Central Park Lanes, East Boston Mass. will be there next Friday night. Justin Scalley's Academy 1 takes on Central 2. Rich Lamoni, Central 2. It'll be about like a 745 start. Sorry, Paul. Looks like the internet's not going to work out for this one, so we're recording. Okay. Thank you, folks, for understanding. Austin Barnes, 1 8 10, 1 2 10 for Baker. The trials and tribulations of live streaming, Greg. Ain't that just the way? Baker, almost. Sent that pin across, not too bad. <laughs> Barnes missed left, one of the 10. First of three strings. Sean gets the 10, two tens, 20 through two in the first of three. Greg Guyard, the technology with Bob Lee. Barnes and eight, 17 through two. Please subscribe to Candle from Bowling Network, always free, never a charge. Candle from Bowling Network on YouTube. Like and follow us on Facebook as well. Hall of Famer Bob Wickham, coming back from a foot injury for the second year in a row. Down this year a little bit, wide Virginia, just over 116. Try and keep that 34 year streak in a row, going to year 35 of a 120 average or higher. Very impressive. But I joke with him, don't worry, Bob, you're already in the Hall of Fame. It doesn't matter now. <laughs> <laughs> Such a character. Great guy on the lane. Almost a strike. Got it. Three goes down. Dave Goblin chops out the four. Not saying it.
But we do look forward to saying more of it at Candlepins for Cancer that's coming January 13th. Hey, Women's Top 5 Live Show, 10 o'clock. Number one seed, Sonya Johnson. Number two seed, Sharon Britton. Number three seed, Glennis McKinley. Number four seed, Melissa Ritchie. Number five seed, Nikki McKeever. What a ladder. Mike Moore and Greg Guillard and myself will be there for the live action. Come on by Riverwalk Lanes, downtown Amesbury, Mass. Support Candlepins for Cancer and the ladies bowling. Godwin will take a nine. Remember the format, folks, of the Friday Night Pro League. We're playing for match points to determine the standings. Two match points to the winner of each string and two for the winner of total for a total of a possible eight. And, of course, they tie. They split the points. No overtime until the playoffs. Bob Wickham gunning for two in a row. Two full. Spread eagle. Minus one, maybe. So we got five in that first ball. Three, six right. Two, four, seven left. Dave Goblin looking at a bundle of six. And Dave has missed... Nine weeks, the first four weeks. He missed the last five weeks, various injuries. Last time a shoulder injury. Wickham pulled it off, what a shot, spare and strike. He must have heard me about the 116 average. <laughs> 20 through one, 30 the ball through two. Back on track. Godwin, one for a pair of nines, 18 through two, early lead, 77-62, 15-pin lead for Ingham. Hey, Bob, I teased you about the 120 average for 34 years in a row, and it's not 116 right now, and you start with a strike and spare. Hey, you got to get it back up there, right? <laughs> That's right. Gotta, it's not a half a season, it's a full season. So. Just want to thank you. Congratulations for being the Canopin Hall of Fame. Great honor. Thank well you. Well deserved. Paul. Thanks, Paul. I really appreciate it. Hey, just working, getting my way back. I'm deciding to get a little better, so. How's, how's the foot doing? Foot's doing great. Just got to work on the bowling. That's all. All right. Good luck, Bob Wickham. All right. Back to live action. Veteran John Winchell, Hall of Fame eligible. Next time around, 136. Joe Smith, almost a strike, wiggling seven. Here's a spare for Winchell. Out of Brentwood, New Hampshire. Pulling out an extra lane, shoot a sports bar back to New Hampshire. Number one seed, the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, Class A Northern Conference, has won one and lost one in the finals. Smith picks it up after missing the first shot, made this on the second time around. I'm not going to say what that is, Greg, just yet. But it was indeed. No, it's a good time for that. 90, uh, correct, 87. Is it 87 or 97, Greg? I show 87. Yep. 87, 72. Three marks on Hingham's side and one on Central 2, which we can now indicate with these uh, distinctly Canadian smudges I'm trying out this time around. Right, Winchell, 2-1 split on the spare, 17 through 1. Smith with 8, golden opportunity with a 6-10, spare chance. Those yellow triangles you see, the yellow half triangles indicate spares. Full yellow squares would be strikes. Checking that wood. Looks good from our vantage point here, back here. Nothing like the great game of Candlepin Bowling. Get the word out. Never too late for a Candlepin gift card. What a shot by Winchell. Nice. Outstanding shot. Three, six, seven. Not an easy one. He goes back to back. So you had three bowlers with two spare sevens and a spare. What will remain, it was uh, behind the Deadwood line, which sticks out about two feet in front of the pin plate. So Smith will have to negotiate it. He does have a lane available to the right. And makes it. Nice shot. So he's on the board, 20 in the ball through two. Great start. 104-82, 22-pin lead for Hingham on the road. Greg enjoying the Pub 125 chicken tender basket with Bob Lee. How is it, Greg? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Delicious. High quality food, great pizza, burgers as well. Yeah, Reducers Academy down to 44 lanes from 48, but still very much a good investment on their part. Speaking of Hall of Famers, there's another one here, Craig Holbrook with the parallel time. Five, nine, six, 10. Left to right, three pieces rolling around. Make it four. Jim and Tim Jalbert on lane three with three. Holbrook with the wood, swept it over, touches the six, but it won't go. Jalbert hits the head pin, grabs three of the seven, make it four. Three, five, ten. 
Holbrook gets it to go for a 10 in the anchor spot tonight. Tim gets nice 10 on that one to start his first of three. Nice escape on that, the power of the third ball. I thought it was the power of the double strike. The power of whatever ball is in your hand at that particular moment. <laughs> that is a pretty good candlepin mindset, though. Just got the most important shot is the one you're about to do. Ten boxes, don't get enough love. Holbrook, 5 6 10. Chiaba crossing over. Another 2 1 split. This time it's the 3 6 7. Craig trying to kick it over. Not an easy shot. Jalbert, of course, an ICC finalist with Fenway Academy. Oh, what a shot that was. Wow. Sliced and diced it. 20 in the ball through two. Gee, you wonder why. Just the hurt, you, he must have heard you say the world. Is he mic'd up? We got the mic here. Anyone could be. Let's take a quick look at the scores. I know we were, there was a lot of technical shuffling. We get our first look at it now. 22 pins, the same number of marks up on each side. So Hingham really in a, ahead by about uh, three spares or so. Craig with a pair of 10s, 20 through two. Jim, 20 in the ball through two. Back to the top of the order. Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week on Candlepin Bowling Network. Over 910 videos and climbing. Jimbo Ayotte on the spare, eight goal post, 35 through two. Chris Jones on the spare, he gets seven, 34 through two. Two terrific teams. Try to kick it over. Ooh. Good try. Left side of the wood, got a lot of the way across the pin plate. Jones for three in a row, just missed left. And that was a six fill. I didn't see the five pin behind the head pin, so that was a six fill, Greg. My mistake, so 33, as does Academy 2, the home team. 241, 210 officially, 218 rather, so 23 pin lead. Chris Jones, 52 through four, make it officially. Jimbo, 53 through four on the left. Six goes into three, good break there for Jones. Four, seven, spare chance. Strike bid, he's got it. Jimbo Ayod. Third mark of the string, a strike. 63 half, plus two. Jones for another one, he gets it. His third spare, 62 and a ball through five. Great matchup, could be a preview of a playoff match. Top eight of 12 teams get in. Week 17 to 35, Jones, half Worcester, ouch. Two is the fill, 64 half. Left side head pin, the Augusta Main Special, the 1-7-10. For Jimbo Ayotte, he's on a strike though. Jones, seven, five, six, ten left to right. It's three fills, seven, six, and two so far. Jimbo's fill so far, seven and eight. And he's on a strike on lane three. Second ball. Just missed inside. Got the ten to go. Eight on the strike. Nothing wrong with a 71 half. Jones looking for a couple here. Does for an eight. 72 through six. Jimbo Ayotte, nine. 80 through six. Video back on, Greg? Looks like it is. We see oh, it here. Okay. Uh, 245, 261. Now so thanks for your patience, folks. Get the scoreboard sorted. Okay. You're watching the Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week on Canop and Bowling Network. Academy to the fourth seed, surging number three seed. Hingham at Academy Lanes, Haverhill Mass at Pub 125, the Bradford section of Haverhill, 725 South Main Street. Check out the brand new Pub 125. You will love it. Here's Sean Baker with eight, make it nine, make it 10, strike. On spare. A big 20. Austin Barnes, he gets a strike to match. I can do it if you can do it. 
both with strikes on spares. Six, 16 pins and an extra mark for Hingham. Austin Barnes, 46 through four, 56 half plus two. Sean Baker, 50 through four, 60 half plus two. That's how you fill up the marks. Sean subbing in tonight. His fifth appearance so far this season. High three of 378 so far. For a double, almost. Ooh. He does get it. The six goes down. Double strike. Wow. Barnes for a double. He gets seven. Two wobbling five, eight behind the two. The Baker bonus, double strike. Barnes for a spare. Oh, just missed the eight somehow. Nine to strike, 65 half. Not too shabby. Harsh not to get that one. They might have needed it now that Sean Baker has the ability to run up this margin even higher at his next turn. Austin way left for a nine, 74 through six in the first of three. Sean Baker, fresh off the New Year's Day, five out of seven tournament win. On fire, 80 plus bonus balls through six. Bob Wickham on a spare, 56 in the ball through four. He's got three marks. Dave Godwin looking for his first mark, 35 through four. Trying to get back on the comeback trail like Bob Wickham. Both in with multiple injuries this season. Bobby Witt, left side, thin hit. Look at this lead. How do you see this one, Greg? Huh. Only three. Godwin crossing over with a check mark. The Bob 59 through four. Two, five, ten chiseled out is a strange one for sure. Good bid. Three, six, nine. God went open with the three and six. It does seem to happen at Academy more than many other houses. I was talking with Justin Scally about it very briefly, where if you get glancing blow on your pin, then it tends to flutter away and not do a lot of damage. Look at nine. God went to ten. We'll see Justin Scally next Friday night on the road at Central Two, Rich Lamoni's team. Around a 7.45, 8 o'clock start on Ken and Bowling Network. So Bob Wickham. Six box for a string. Back in the head pin, seven. Six, ten right, seven left, not gonna be easy. Godwin, 45 half. Delivers seven, one, two, four, spare chance. Bob had a nine that last box, I believe, Greg, right? 65 through six, was it? Not showing the scoreboard yet. Bob's fifth box isn't down there yet. Try to kick it over, almost. Godwin missed left, got the four, leaves it the one and two. You're absolutely right, Paul. It should be a 68 half. 68 half Wickham, okay, officially. And he gets a nine that time. So 77 through six. Dave Godwin going for the 10, gets one for a nine. 54 through six, painting well, but no marks. The seven box lower to score a little bit. Otherwise, all nines, tens, and not too bad otherwise. Updating the score and the mark situation from the soothing sounds of Greg Guillard. Hingham's got a double strike working there in uh, Central 2, just that spare up from Tim Gelber, which I didn't have at a previous version of the scoreboard. Apologies. Okay, we got the scoreboard all fixed up now. Thanks again for your patience. 20 pins for Hingham. John Winchell, 46 through four. He gets the six pin. You know what that means. Hmm. Joe Smith, 46 to 4, 1, 2, 9, 10. John trying to work out of it. Half Wester, ouch. Seven standing. Smith, good ball. Good try. Couldn't reach the 9 and 10. Second half of the first string. Winchell, nice out. He'll take a nine out of that mess. 55 through five. Five's a wild. Nine for Smith. Joe's at 55 also. Hey. I love that video, Sammy Hagar. I can't drive 55. You never see that video? 
Heard the, heard the song, remember, played at a pinball table at the old Mason uh, Bowling Center. I'm this, not going to sing it. that place. I'm not going to sing it right now. But yeah. Good song. Good third ball by Winchell. They had a third ball thrown in their face. That was part of the reason Hingham got skunked last week, actually, when it was it was Sean Landry, as I recall, in that third string who won that final string in the final match points of that match then. That was in last week's action. John can't get the 10 pin to go down as it wiggles around. Seven left. Smith in the pocket. Wobbling five. Eight left. Ten right. Five still trying to go down, but part better off standing with that wood behind to possibly help. That's tip to Tony Levesque, who got video of that great out. The Magic Man. Love him. Awesome guy. Great TikTok presence as well. Yes. A terrific guy on off the lane. Class act. Winchell couldn't get the seven to go. Good try. Smith trying to kick it over. He got it. Nice shot. Spare. 65 and a ball through six. Second spare of the first. John gets to 10, 65 through six. Anchors away. Craig Holbrook, 47 through four. Jammin, Tim Jalbert, 48 in the ball through four. Had a spare nine in the second, spare here in the fourth. Jammin? Yeah, Jammin Jalbert. Remember, ah. we, got that, we got that at the Worlds, remember? We got that triple strike. He sure was in that final. Hey, John, hey we collected. John put his $1 in for that six pin. Here's Craig Holbrook off to the left. He gets seven, maybe. It's six. One, four, seven, ten. Can't see some of the pins way back here. Obstructed view. Jalbert, one, eight, ten. On the spare. 55 through four. John Winchell's a great ally of the charity. Candle pins for cancer. Great to see. Holbrook try to kick it over. Good bid. Pick your favorite pin here. Seven, ten. Jalbert missed left. One of the ten. Executive producer at Cannon Mowing Network, Mr. Bob Lee. Craig gets to nine. 56 half. Nine barks for Jalbert. Jammin Jalbert, 64 half. Has a spare nine and a spare seven. Nothing like the great game of Cannon Mowing. Get the friends, family, and the youth involved. Great job, Mike McIntosh, trying to get the youth program going here. 90 people here on Saturday as it is. Academy Lanes is one of the best programs Absol with Rock and Bowl. Yeah, absolutely, the best. Over a good chance, 3-6-10, Wood to help. Jalbert for a strike, nine. Wiggle in the seven. Back to the top of the order after this. Craig had a spare eight in the third. In the sixth box, spare. Three goes down, missed it initially, carried back. 66 through six, plus a ball. Tim for his third spare of the first. Got it with the wood. Ooh. Just the way they both threw it up. 74 and a ball through six. Two close ones, we'll take a gander here. Here comes the true power of the double strike, so it's effectively an extra mark for Hingham in addition to a 13-pin lead right now. Mark's situation is 13 marks to 10, really 14 to 10 in Hingham's favor at this point. Pinning is five in Hingham's favor as well, as I see it. Five fewer pins left on the plate. Jimbo, strike! Second strike in the last three. 90 plus two through seven. Chris Jones, one, four, seven. Wood in between. Jumbo had a strike eight in that fifth box in the leadoff spot. Chris Jones for a spare, missed left. Comes down with a 10, Four. he stole it also! Oh, ho, ho, wow! Ho, 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 ho. There are 12 days of Christmas, and it's the 11th day, he'll take it. A strange spare. Welcome to Canada for Mulling, folks. Take it while you can. No, it is the 12th day. That's right, January. 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31. That's true. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I keep thinking January 6th, that's why. I'm a math major. Day. It's good for something. I know, I'm usually good at math. Yeah. 82 and a ball through seven for Jones for a double strike. Eight. Six right, seven left. Jones on the extra ball, on the nose. Six, two, four, seven, ten. What to possibly help? 88 through seven.
a uh, difficult shot. Good try at the pin. Could he get the wood? Big nine filling the strike. 99 through seven. Jones, good try. Can't reach the 10. Hingham will need that double strike to start pulling away again and rebuild that bigger margin they had earlier. Jimbo right on for a 10 box. How about 109 through eight? Four marks, great going. Jones matches with a 10, 98. 98 through eight in the first of three. Also four marks though, aot has been filling his better comparatively. Averaging eight on his fills in fact. Good addition for Hingham for Chris Jones. All right, here comes Baker. Sean Baker going over the turkey, three strikes in a row. 80 plus bonus balls through six. But first, it's Austin Barnes with a half Worcester. Two in the eight. 74 through six coming in. Not on a mark. Baker, so focused. Just missed right, but gets seven, not bad. 27, the first double strike box. Has the one, two, 10. Twenty-seven the first double strike box, seventy-seven half. Barnes Ooh. three six right, four seven left. Now eighty-seven the ball through six for Baker. He's made the shot many times in his Hall of Fame credential career. Not that time, but he got two for a nine on the strike on the second double strike ball. Nothing wrong with that. Ninety-six through six. Osmar, beautiful Ooh. 10, three, six, four, seven, nice. And Sean gets the 10, all the way up to 106, 106.7, Greg. WMJX, magic 106.7. Uh -huh. 106 through seven for Sean Baker. 36 I over. just can't resist myself, you know? <laughs> the, uh, magic 106.7, David Allen Boucher. It's magical bed, and he's got bed, it. Bedtime magic, 106.7 FM. Barnes, nine, six pin for a spare. 84 through seven coming in. Baker trying to get back in the mark column. Left side, four. He made this earlier, though. He looked away at that shot halfway down the lane. Six pin for a spare for Barnes. Right on it. 94 and a ball through eight. Baker half Worcester, 1-5, 6-10. Two points for a win, one for tie, two for total, eight points on the line. Three versus four. Hingham the three seed, leads number four, Academy two, on the road. Baker, nice out, nine, 115 through eight. Triple A out is a 109 through eight for Academy two. Updating the score and the marks from Mr. Greg Guiar. Let's have a look here as we bring up Whitcomb and Godwin. Current mark situation is 14 to 12 for Hingham, realistically 15 to 12. Baker did well with that. Phil. 25 pin lead is correct. 421, 396. Excellent. For Hingham. Both balls not on marks. Here's Dave Goblin. Mr. 235, left side with four. Yep. Bob Wickham, left side three. Bob 77 through six coming in. Dave 54 through six. Looking for his first mark. He's got what to possibly help between the three and the six. Nice shot, just missed the three. Wickham, difficult leave, good bid. Wobbling five, nine right. Dave gets the 10, 64 through seven. Five wit, 10, 87 through seven, good battle here. Close all the way through. Lead is 25 for Hingham on the left. Three spares to one though, favor Academy two. Virtual single digit lead for Hingham. Godwin with a check mark, five middle, two, four, seven left. Wickham here at Academy Lanes, pub 125, Averill Mass. Puts the stop sign, the wood to the left of the five, six ten right. The setback shot. Godwin for a spare. No, this time 
Can't get the two to go. Godwin's struggling in the early going, but last week he had a 352, so he does have more in the tank this time, even though he is rehabbing. The broom is off Wickham, but could not sweep to the 10. Thought he had it. Academy 2 got 8-0 eight, eight and oh last week. Dave and 9, 73 through 8, good pinning. Wickham and 9, 96 through 8. 440, 450 remains a 25 pin lead for Hingham. But again, down two marks. And one right here from Joe Smith on the right. 65 and a ball through six. John Winchell, 65 through six. Crossing over, seven, four, seven, 10. 72 through six, cuts the lead to 18. Battle of three versus four, a good one, as expected. John Winchell, one, three, six, seven left. Smith trying to kick it over, good try, just missed the 10, not by much. Outstanding effort, fall short. Already used up all his spare making energy on the last frame. <laughs> Winch off the wall, just missed the seven. What a try that was. Too thin somehow. It actually got wiggled just Check, then, yeah, the, but it didn't drop. I think the Haver line just went behind. Mm. It wouldn't go down. Smith a 10, 82 through seven. John, 10, that's good. Yeah. Bulls call it. 75 through seven, the first of three, winding down. 450, 432, 18 pin lead. Can Hingham hang on for the first two points? Bowler's call to make without anyone's influence, including ours, but that was pretty clearly on the lane. Five down, five to go for Smith. Winchell on the crossover, strike. 85 plus two through eight, his first strike of the match. Had a spare seven, spare four to start. His first mark, first mark since. Smith chops out the three, leaving up the one, eight, six, 10 right. Big pins, three of the four for nine. 91 through eight, 12 blocks to go. Here come the anchor bowlers. Tim Jalbert, 74 and a ball through six. Craig Holbrook on the left, 66 and a ball through six. Looks like two marks up for each side in the four and five spots, in fact. Oh no, excuse me, Barnes has a spare up and I missed that. And what's the lead, I can't see the score, but what's the lead, Greg? Yeah, it's two marks on each side. Lead is currently 19, should be okay. 460 460 to 441, uh, that's got confirmed. It, got it, That's a gift for not reading the read, put the reading glasses on. All right. Jalbert, spares six. Up. Holbrook, six, both matching spare fills, six. Tim, 80 through six. Craig, 72 through six. Another spare. Not an easy one. 90 to ball through seven. Holbrook, he gets the spare. What a shot that was. 82 in the ball through seven. Masterful shot. Tim, four spares in the string. Craig Holbrook with three. What a terrific start, Craig. Fantastic. A lot of marks just all around. Hate to say it, Godwin with zero might be the difference so far. Perfect shot, spread eagle. Four in the fill. To Jalbert, 94 through eight. Correction through seven. Now it's eighth box. Holbrook, he gets a spread eagle. Ooh, ooh. Great two great shots, two spread eagles. Cruel game, 86 through seven. Corey Smith, the Canadian great, was recounting, well, he got nine spread eagles in a string, then got a spare in the 10th, then punched a spread eagle in that fill. <laughs> Holbrook, he got it! Wow, a spread eagle for spare, how about that? Oh, yes. Unbelievable shot after a spare four. 96 in the ball through eight. Piece of cake, right, Craig? Jalva 10. Which is very pro, pro tier in itself in a more realistic way. 104 through eight. <laughs> Craig gets a kick out of that one. What a shot. Oh. A 1% success rate. He got it. Well, that might be a difference maker as well. Huge momentum swing right there. 19 pins and an extra mark. 
for Hingham. Stats by Canada from Bowling Network. 2, 4, 7, 3, 6, 10. A beauty. Final two blocks of the first of three here at Academy Lanes, Pub 125. The lead, Greg, in this, the lead right now, Greg? What was that? The lead in the string is officially? Lead in the string is 19. Hingham up 19 on the right. Two for Jones. I was talking to Josh Rio. He's well-dressed as if he just came home as real estate work. Rio the realtor. Chris Jones, 98 through 8 coming in. 109 through 8 for Jalbert. He's got the triangle, 3 five, six. And Jones, 6 standing with a ball to go. Jimbo, missed left, 3 in the 6. Jones, nice out. He'll take a 7. Goes from 98 through 8 to 105 through 9. 9 for Tim, going from 109 through 8 to 118 through 9. Picks two pins in the process. Chips it down to 17, but still that extra mark on Hingham's side. Pinning is currently three apart right now, so really the mark difference of 18 to 13 effective for Hingham is a big difference at the moment. Chris Jones tries to turn that wood around. 5-7, a decent wood behind the 5 to the left. On the cross, so an ugly leave here. Look at this one. Only four. Mini rack? Yeah. They call that a chop off in five pin bowling in Canada where that's much more frequent. Here you just chisel out that diagonal and candle pin and it's nuts. Well, throw a mini hammer then. Jones for a spare. Got it. Nice shot. 5-7 with wood. Beauty. 115 of all through 10. Pretty shot. Hey, uh, oh, just missed the 10. Hmm. Jones, five spares in the first. Jimbo in the channel for nine, 127, first string. Hey, uh, very accurate on the head pin throughout that string. That was the reason he scored so high. Five marks, uh, four marks, excuse me, two in all. Two spares, two strikes in that first. Jones on the extra ball, perfect shot, strike bid, nine, the wiggle. Goes, delayed strike on spare. What a finish, 125. A big 20. Jones had that one fluke, but a very solid string as well. That push lead up right now. Right now it's 18, is it, Greg, right now? Currently it is 28, I show. 28, sorry, it's 489, not 499. So 517, 489, 28 it is. But hang on. And a mark. Sean Baker, a double strike earlier. 115 through eight. Eight left. Wiggling six, 10 right. Surrounded by a bunch of wood. Austin Barnes, 94 to ball. Six, 13810, 100 through eight. Sean Baker is perfect for that nine box in the last box. Three tens, a double strike, a ten box and a nine. Really studying that wood there. It's hard to see how he can cover both. I guess if he plays on the junction, he can spin both pieces in. Just missed left. I guess they were just a little bit too far apart. Maybe there was a way to put the ball in the middle, but with that gap between the pins, it makes the margin for error that much slimmer. All right, beautiful shot. Just missed a ten. Baker, a nine. 124 through nine. Austin, nine box, 109 through nine. Academy two, down in the string. Needs to get a bunch of marks. Might need to mark out. Defending champions trail here in the first of three. They were the number one seed last year. And won it all. The thrilling match against Woburn, now extra this year. Uh, Can't open bowling network on YouTube. Baker, three, six right, four left. Barnes, half west of two in the eight. Hate that shot. About a one in five success rate. Second time Barnes has punched that exact half wester. Still having a good string overall. Baker trying to kick it over. He, oh, he got it! He did get it! Wow! 
We just had some great shots here in the first, both sides. Kitchen sink spare, just threw everything at it. 134 on the ball in the 10th. Oops, Barnes going Paul Grant that shot. One more, still got total pinfall to play for as well. Every pin matters. Barnes big out. They'll take an eight out of that mess. 117 opening string. But slightly more oomph on that ball. Good out there to make sure he got it over to the head pin and collect the majority. He had two spares and a strike. Sean Baker, two spares and two strikes, a double strike. And at 134 on a ball. Right side, it is six. How about a 140 in relief of John Zappi? Sean Baker, 140, first string. Only other bowler to get two strikes so far is Jimbo Ayod, but alas, they were not consecutive. They were two and three, as you mentioned earlier, Paul. Good to see he's on form right now. He had a 394 last week. 394. A strike and a spare for Hingham. No marks for Academy 2. It's looking good for Hingham right now for the first two points. Bob Wickham, 96. Dave Godwin, 73 through 8. Here's a strike for Bob Wickham. Had a strike to start. A yep. strike of the ninth, 106 plus 2. That's right, now he has two. Tough luck for Godwin here. He's going to try to go Craig Holbrook, who just made this a cup of coffee ago for his spare on the spread eagle. He gave it a try. Bob, two spares, two strikes. He's finding the range increasingly. I was a little harsh mentioning his lack of marks right here, but it's good to see him finding the range just like that. That but might play a factor in the remaining two strengths. Dave working his way back, 83 through 9 with that 10 box of a spread eagle, which only go one every five times for 10 bucks. Stats by Kenneth and Bowling Network for Pro Bowlers without wood. Booker trying to match Baker's double strike. Sizzle six. Four left, make it seven. Six, ten right, four left. Godwin, four, seven. Strange pin outcome for Wickham. It seemed like he hit the pin too light, which, as we mentioned at Academy Lanes, tends to make the pin go kerfluey. But then the fast-acting pin deck started collecting some of the pins as well. So it, it's a bad lead, but at least it's collecting sticks on the strike. And the wood's not impossible. Wickham doinked that one. Not on the cap, though. Seven, Phil. Godwin, nice ball. Just missed the spare. Open strength, but he's pinned so well. Trying to get to 93. And that should lead to Marks next string. Wickham takes a nine. After a strike, seven, Phil, 113 through nine, 122, first string. Nine for Dave Godwin, 92 string without a mark. Good pinning. Hingham will get the first two points, more than likely, up 37 right now. Plus two marks. John Winchell on a strike. One, wobbling two and seven. Joe Smith trying to get closer. Strike! His first strike of the match. 101 plus two through nine. Had a pair of spare sevens earlier. Winchell for a spare and strike. Got the head pin, nothing else. Two in the seven. Eight in the strike, 93 through eight. Six strikes for Hingham the string, four for Academy two. John and nine, 102 through nine. Joe can use a double here. Yeah, 20 marks to 14 for Hingham. 21 to 14 effective with that double strike. In other words, I, I consider the double strike to count twice, that second one. Wencho on the nose, spread eagle. A lot of these so far. Yeah, getting increasingly punchy, just the way it goes sometimes. Smith just missed the pocket, three in the first ball on the strike. What a great matchup this is tonight, Greg. I'm just waiting to see if we can get another eagle make. Almost. Ooh. Three in the six. 
Uh, tough quarter hit, the two pin, yikes, four in the strike for Smith, tough oh, break. Dear. 105 through nine. John trying to get to 112. And does with a 10, 112 opening string. Tough five for Joe Smith. After a strike four, a five box, 110 for a string. And Hingham will grab the first two points. Craig Hovick will add to the lead, 96 in the ball. Tim Jalbert, a good string, 104 through eight. Still two more strings to go. Remember, Central Two is coming off an 8 and 0, and Hingham an 0 and 8. So we'll see how much last week's results off the holiday is actually affected this, but anything can happen in these next two strings. Holbrook, five of the three, the Canadian bucket shot, 101 through 8. Check mark for Jalbert. Holbrook, five of the nine. Jalbert. Can't get to go, 3-6-10. Holbrook gets the 10 box, 111 through nine. Tim Jalbert died, 113 through nine. Final box of the first of three on Candlepin Bowling Network. Friday Night Pro League, game of the week. Match 17 to 35. Next week will be effectively starting the second half of the season, you could say. Holbrook, strike bid, almost. 35-week regular season, like you're saying. I missed that, Greg, what's that? 35-week regular season, yeah. then playoffs. Yeah. 5-2 split for Jalbert. Holbrook, the nine pin, should be a slam dunk. Basically three round robins with some position week matches mixed in. Now this mark for Holbrook, 121 in a ball in the 10th. Oh, what a shot that was, spare. The 5-2 split, piece of cake for Jalbert. Jim and Jim, one, two, three, and a ball in the 10th. Five spares in the first. Craig Holbrook, five spares. Takes down seven, 128, first string. Five is that? I think there's a nine pin as well. Yep. 128. And a five fill, so 128 for Java. So both anchor balls, a 128. And the first thing goes to Hingham. The update from Greg Guyar. Looking for a 627 to 574 to be the final result here. That's what I show it as. So two match points over to Hingham. Final mark statistics was 22 to 15 in that string. What was the final score there, Greg? Uh, 627 to 574. 627 to 574. It was a lot close in the final score indicating that first string, but Academy 2, very capable of bouncing back. 2-7-10, Jimbo Ayotte. Bob Greg, Greg we up Bob Lee live. Well, actually taped now. Recorded now on Cannibal Bowling Network on YouTube. Live to tape. That's right. Lost audio earlier on, too. Spare to start the second. He had two spares to start the first, as did Chris Jones. He got the spare. Nice shot. The wood helped. That was pretty how they clattered in a heap like that. A headpin almost got swept out from below, and there they go. Remember, you can follow along with the yellow blots on your screen, the yellow half triangle indicating a spare, and the yellow filled square being a strike. The more yellow you see, the more color under their name between total and game, uh, the better. Jimbo with wiggle in the nine, drop in the six pin, nine drop in the spare, 19 through one, six pin for another one. Jones, one, seven, eight, 17 through one. 19 through one, Grayot. Two in a row, just like the first, 29 of the ball through two. Ooh, just the 1 8 for Jones there, leaving up the 7. That gives Academy 2 the lead early on. Jones drills it for 10 box, 27 through 2 in the second of 3. 
Beautiful Academy lanes, pub 125, 44 lanes to bowl. They took out four lanes for the Mixed Worlds. 2022 put in pub 125, a must see, full bar, high quality food, great people, great ownership here in the DeBurros. Pub 125, 725 South Main Street in the Bradford section of Averill. Book your birthday parties, corporate events here as well. Austin Barnes starting a second string in lane four. Fireball a nine. Five pin for a spare. Sean Vick come up with a big 140 first. On the crossover, nine. He's got the kingpin also, but a piece of wood to help. Barnes for a spare, no problem. 10 of the ball to start the second. Ooh. Spare for Baker. Not convinced he got the pin directly. He may have got it with the wood, but it was frozen nice and easy, and he is rewarded for his nine drop. He had five marks in that first, right? Three spares, two strikes, right? Uh, he had uh, two spares, two strikes. That's I had okay, it. That's right. That's pretty good, four marks and 140. The power of the double strike. Precisely. Barnes four in the fill, 14 through one. Five, 10 for Baker, 18 through one. What a luxury to have him on your team. Filling in. Barnes difficult leave. I got it. How about that? Four boxes, four marks for Aca uh, Academy 2, which I'm just realizing of horrifically. Oh, how long has that been true? Spare the hard way, 24 and a ball through two. Uh, I'm just realizing my scoreboard was bugged from the get-go. Academy 2, obviously. Baker, oh, what a try. How good can Austin Barnes be? Fun to watch. Baker 10, 28 through two in the second of three. Early lead right now for Academy two on the right. The captain, Dave Godwin, 92 first string, looking for his first mark, playing really well. Only had a seven block, everybody else is pretty much nines and tens. Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week on Candlepin Bowling Network. Click the subscribe button on YouTube. Always free, never a charge. Like and follow us on Facebook as well. The four swing plus a triangle. 3-2 split for Bob Wickham. Bob at 122 first. Godwin with the post. Bobby Wood trying to kick it over. Missed left. Two left, six, ten right. Bob look for big out. Tough doing. Ooh. Five. Ouch. Bob gains four with a nine. Early update from Mr. Greg Guillard here in the second. Of only three. one box, only four pins exchanged there. Academy two still raking in the marks. Four to two in this string, so. Uh, although it looks like a six pin Hingham advantage. Remember they have two marks to fill from positions one to two. Dave Godwin looking for a mark. Takes down the one, takes down the three. It's the six ten spare chance. Wickham, beautiful ball, spread eagle. And Wood coming back behind the two, in between the two and four. Craig Holbrook made a clean one in the first, first spare. Godwin, He's got it on the board. First mark of the match. After a five bucks, that's how you do it. 15 the ball through two. Found a way, all the first three bowlers of Academy Two sitting on a mark. Wickham three in the 10. Wickham hit the object pin, the three for nine, pair of nines, 18 through two. Next Friday night, Justin Scalley's Academy One, the eighth seed, takes on the slumping 
Central to the fifth seed right now. Eight and 40 though, since the world's been struggling of late, but trying to, they've been competitive, just not quite there of late, but a team to be reckoned with, I'm sure. Every team goes through slumps. Academy had their doldrums at the beginning of the year, going four and 28 to start the season. Yes. So anybody can, can bounce back. Plenty of time left. Joe Smith, 2-4 left, 6-10 right. John Winchell with a 4-2 split, starting his second. Smith got the left side, not the right. We'll get an update in the Riverwalk. And Academy 1 score to our right on lanes 5 and 6. Winchell, he got it. Nice shot, spare. Sometimes you can't make the easy ones. Spare to start the second. Smith a 10. Well pinned there. And that 4-2 washout is pretty when it goes. Exeter and Central 3 currently decidedly at the top of the shop at 92 and 28. This time it's a 2 on split for Smith. 7 left, 6, 10 right. Wood to work with. Winchell on the bonus. Crossing over 9. 19 through 1. You know, two spare sevens and a strike four in that first. Smith with a spare. 20 the ball through two. Nice touch on that. I played to the left of the four pin, and he'll sit on a mark as well. Winchell missed it mm. left. Only by a board or two. Wasn't there, nine after a spare nine. 19 through one, 28 through two in the second of three. Greg Holbrook on the left. Tim Job on the right, the anchor ball is coming up. Update Bob Lee in the other match. Yeah, in, the, in Academy one, won 603, 582. Big game from uh, Brian Fuller Jr. He had a 143, had a one, had a 123 out of the substitute, uh, in a substitute role for Corey Alisi. And uh, they're, they're just underway in the second after two. Mr. Kenneth in corner, a 143, huh? Corey Alisi, good, good for him. Yeah, he, he, he uh, su seven for, uh, su seven for Rio tonight. And uh, they're, they're joshing about him being a permanent substitute if he keeps going like this. I thought uh, Josh was gonna blow in a suit coat tonight. <laughs> yeah, he looks beautiful, he's beautiful. There's Love a strike the for Holbrook. All right. All right. Crager was just t telling me that uh, he was delighted with his uh, spread eagle conversion in the last game. He he uh, thought he'd thrown a perfect strike ball, the one before that, and uh, followed it up. Uh, said said it was a perfect three and two ball, and he was he was worried about hitting the crossover. He did. Third ball. So Academy uh, Academy won six zero three to five eighty two over yep. Riverwalk. Riverwalk yep. up twenty one. They're, they're uh, they should be they're in a good battle right. They're in seventh or eighth place right now. Okay. In the standings. Yeah, they're eighth right now. All right, thanks, Bob Lee, executive producer for Canada from Bowling Network. All right, Greg, give us an update while we're talking to Bob. Jumper put a bit on that 5-8-10, just got up with the 8-pin, and now the ball is going to spin about on the plate. They're going to stare at it for a good minute, hoping maybe, just possibly, it will do something, but at this point they'll give up on it, and that ball will have to be removed by rule since it's resting on the pin plate. All right, so Academy is seventh right now. So seventh play, I got the wrong sheet. <laughs> Must have picked the wrong week when I was half asleep doing this. I've got it here on my phone. I, I always prefer these matches halfway in my sleep. Paul, I've got it on my phone if you want. All right, so correction, Academy win the seventh seat. No disrespect, Justin Scally. Helps to the, wrong, the right stat sheet. We know it's three and four Academy and Central. Academy two rather in Higgins. Yeah, so Central three ahead of Exeter 128 and Exeter 94 and 34. I thought that looked off, but I didn't say anything. I think actually I actually deleted week 16 on my uh, email instead of week 15. That's why. Want to get away? One of these days I'll have a perfect broadcast. Mike Warren said you won't get one. All right, back to live auction. Live action. Live auction. Live action. Craig Holbrook, a strike. First ball is four. Tim Jalpin had a nine. Two, four, seven. Trying to throw less into more. That's the popular adage for making splits like that. Second on the strike, Holbrook, five right, eight left, 18 through one. 
in the second of three. At least when you got parallel pins like that, of course. Nice 10 for Jalbert, 19 through two. Holbrook in nine, after a strike eight, 27 through two on Candleton Bowling Network, back to the top of the order. Let's take a look, see here. Josh. We got four marks to none right now. And uh, trying to rope Rio into an interview. 21 pins up for Hingham, but remember, four marks up on Academy 2's side. So that could easily make this string at least even, if not, in Academy 2's favor. So now with the right score sheet, uh, uh, standing sheet, seven versus five next Friday night. Academy one at Central two. Jones two in that first ball. Tough leave here, two, two split, five, eight, six, 10 right. Jimbo Aya, top of the order. Third box, second string, Averill Mass. Jones all but the five. Cut two in the right. And Jones just missed right for nine blocks. 36 to three. Nine for Ayotte. 44 through three, what a start. After that spare six, 35 through two. We got Josh Re uh, Rio, the realtor, in a suit jacket. Josh, are they going to bowl in your suit, your outfit tonight? Oh, I'm up for many reasons tonight. One, I need my rest. I need my beauty to sleep. Number two, I was in Needham hosting an open house for my latest listing. And three, believe it or not, even I, the, the great Josh Rio, gets hurt once in a while. My, my back is injured right now, so I couldn't bowl tonight. And I won't be, and I won't be here next week either. I'll be, I'll be away uh, in Nashville. So how can people buy a house from you? How do they get a hold of you? The real, the, I call you real, real the realtor. So they have, they have many ways to get a hold of me. Can get, get a hold of Jones a spare. One second, Josh. Yeah. Jimbo going for a spare to match. Chris, 46 in the ball through four, early in the second. That's okay, Greg. Business before pleasure, right? <laughs> Magic spare. Jimbo, 54 in the ball through four, another good start. Had a 127 first. Chris, a 125 first. Talking to Josh Rio, the realtor. So yeah, thanks, Paul. So you can get a hold of me on Facebook. My name, my Facebook name is Josh Rio. R I O. Yep. My Instagram handle, which is Realtor Rio, or you could uh, text or call me 978-590-2741. That number again? 978-590-2741, or you could email me as well. Josh Rio Sims City at gmail.com. So it's R I O. So yep. So it's Josh R I O. S I M E S C I T Y at gmail.com. And licensed in Mass, New Hampshire as well. All right. Thanks a lot, Josh. Thanks, Paul. Thanks All for right. everything that you, that you and Greg are doing right now. Do you have a poem for us, real quick? Oh, I, I, did, I did a lot of poems last year. There's a waiting list for my poems right now. Okay. All right. But go, go, go easy on me next time, huh? Well, the, <laughs> if I go easy on you, that means I'm not doing, I'm not doing a, full, a full service, you know? <laughs> I'm doing you a disservice if I go easy on you. There's a waiting list to get on my poems right now. All right, thanks, Josh Rio. Thanks, Paul. Rio the Realtor, back to live action. Please, I'm in demand. <laughs> Need to go over the GQ look here. We should get him on the camera here. Yeah, Josh, go on the lanes. Get a shot of that suit. GQ. Oh, yeah. All right, Phyllis and Greg, I was talking to Josh Rio there. Bart's got a seven fill on that one, so he's up to 31 and then gets an eight box to put him up to 39. And a nine box for Baker to bring him up to 37. I always enjoy promoting the bowlers' uh, ventures in their life, and the sport and the Kennelfins for Cancer Charity. That's six dollars raised tonight so far. Baker, two eight half Worcester. That's on a after a spare eight ten start and a nine now thirty seven through three. And Barnes in the last box eight thirty nine through three. Parallel pins plus the eight. Baker half Worcester, tough leave. Look at this one, a banana split with a five pin added in, a banana split plus, that's a Jim Dandy. Extra ice cream scoop. And it's four flavors at Friendly's, three for a banana split, if you're wondering. Eight, nine for Barnes. And Baker would try to get at least two here, anything else is a plus. He does for a seven. 44 through four. Four is a while for Mr. Baker. 
Second string of three. Austin Barnes, nine. 48 through four on Candlepin Bowling Network. What's the mark situation, Greg, here in the lead? Mark situation is seven marks to five, pending just about even right now. So still I would say Academy 2 has a slight advantage right now. Remember, you see the yellow blotches between total and game, three to one for Academy 2. All spares, we can see by the half triangles. Hingham won the first string. 627 to 574. By the way, if you hear that popcorn crackle in the headphones, it's probably because I put my phone too close to this. Strike bid for Dave Godwin, eight. That's on a spare, 23 through two. Four in the eight, spare chance. Oh, come on, poke it. Pop a pair of nines, four left, three, six, ten right. He got it! Somehow the four went down, how about that? Three splits, he had to make one eventually. 28 the ball through three, excellent shot. Godwin, two in a row! What a strange game! 0 for 10 in the first of five bucks to start. Back-to-back -back spares. Here comes Mr. 235. Told you I had something in the tank there. 33 to ball through three. Yeah, he had that 6-10 after missing the head pin on the second one, but that was just pure vintage Dave Godwin. Averaging 107.47 so far and limited duty this year. 345 high three so far. On the nose, strike bid, nine. Just missed the five. He won that one. Huge clamor as he let that one go. Going for three in a row, 32 through three. Make that 42 through three. Wickham for a spare. He got it. Back to back spare. Spare six, 34 through three, 44 and a ball through four. Godwin missed that chance. Furious. Score corrected now as you see it. And that is a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. The first time I said it, my three cap quota. Tough miss there, 52 through four. He's got to feel good though. He, again, he threw a good ball in that first. Just couldn't get a mark. Markedly improved here for sure. Joe Smith and left, 20 in a ball. John Winchell had a spare nine and a nine on lane four for Hingham. Left side, comes back door. So yeah, Hingham did claw a mark back, but still advantage Academy too. Send a check mark from Winchell in the pocket. Five wobbling, eight left, 10 right corner. One piece in front, one behind for Joe Smith on the spare, 27 through two and in string number two. And that's Smith's third straight split. I mentioned Whitcomb had three in a row as well. Winchell won't go, or will it? The three Ooh. goes, the six does not. Thought he had it. Smith for a spare. He got it! What hit the 10? 27 through two with that spare seven. 37 of the ball through three. Smith is such a deft touch, it's a delight to see. John dabbles for a 10, won't go for a nine. 37 through three. Smith didn't get all those 400s last season by accident, that's for sure. Had I believe the most of any bowler on route to Academy 2's championship run. Now it's your turn to enjoy the Pub 125 food I see. Pretzels. Mm, delicious. One of the many things you can get here past uh, between the, the blue and the green rooms the, here the at Academy Lanes. The burgers are awesome, the pizza's awesome, the pretzels and the chicken tenders. Chicken tenders the biggest selling item other than the pizza. Smith's got a four fill on this one. He's got, we got that reddish orange masking unit as well. So now all the rooms are harmoniously colored. 41 through three. Winchell, good try, 7-10 goal post. Nice new seating area. I could keep fawning about our hosts here. Oh, what a try that was. Just missed the nine. It's rolling back there. A great job Ted DeBurrow does here. And all the Burrow family. 60 plus years of Candlepin Bowling. Started in 1963. Winchell nine, 46 through four. Academy two on a run. Joe gets the 10, 51 through four. What's the lead, Greg, in the string right now? Uh, 17 for Academy 2 minus an extra mark for Hingham now at this point, now that they're starting to fill in all those marks they sat down on in the second frame, Academy 2. Please invite your friends and family, especially the youth, to Candlepin Bowling, nothing like it. Never too late for a Candlepin gift card, a gift for all occasions, a birthday party, any occasion. As long as we never say the sentence, how do you do, fellow youths, we're going to be in business. But a lot of great kids' events out there. There's a growing push to put even more out of them out there in Candlepin Centers. 
Craig Holbrook, left side. Once you get seven, one, three, wiggling nine. Tim Jalbert takes down eight. He's got the eight and 10. He's gonna turn that wood around. Craig, 27 through two, a strike, eight to nine. That one got away, like a Southwest Airline commercial. Now Tim Jalbert has three straight splits. He's asking for wood advice again, like he was on the last shot. He has a nine and a 10 so far. Very flat wood in front of that eight pin. Maybe right tip to try and send the ball. Nope, left tip. Almost, good try. There was more in the back than I could see back here. Left hand of Holbrook, takes a nine, 36 through three in the second of three. Jalbert in the channel for nine, 28 through three. Three versus four, good one. Yeah, headpin accuracy is lopsidedly on Academy 2 side at the current moment right now. Just a lot of splits coming up as well. Spares don't always follow headpin hits, but they tend to more often than not. About twice as often. Holbrook, thunder a shot, strike! As Bob Lee figured out, and as Craig Holbrook adequately demonstrated. Exquisitely. 46 plus two through four, second strike of the string. That's 62 years young. That's Jalbert's best look at a leave, if he can believe that, even though he's got a lot to deal with here. Oh, seven pin didn't go. Four head pins, zero spares for Timmy. And Craig Holbrook still on a high level, 118.29 Friday night pro league average. High triple this year, 388 in the season. Jalba 10, 38 through four without a mark. Yeah, another nice 10. Let's take a look at the scores now at this point. We have. 17 pins in Academy 2's favor, minus two marks by Hingham right now. We can see that the marks are nine to eight in favor of Academy 2 at the current moment. Pinning about even. Top of the order. Both on spares. She will A on. 4 1 split. Five in the fill. 59 through four. Chris Jones, 46 in the ball. Off the wall. Takes down nine. Oh, yes. 10 and nine go down together. Big nine, Phil. Jones had a head pin drought earlier in the string, but he's found it back to back here for 19 and maybe another. 55 through four with Jones. Good try, four in the 10, Brayot. Jones took his third spare in five boxes. Meanwhile, that was the first time that Jimbo missed the head pin this string. He missed it. I'm gonna go right that pin, Woods never guarantee. Still, he thought he would get some leniency from the ramp there. But no mercy. it's harsh, but absolutely fair what you say, Paul. Jimbo 9, 68 half. And Jones missed the second, make the third. You know what that is? 65 half. Jimbo Pro Series Bowl of the Year. Last year, 1, 9, 10. Bob Wickham won it the other year. Timing for Jones. Six box, second string, beautiful Academy Lanes, Pub 120, 25, the brand new left room, 12 lanes. Missed inside, one of the 10. Chris, a great guy on off the lanes for a spare. Got two of the four, three and the five stand. Ayotte gets nine, 77 through six. Chris Jones, a matching nine, 74 through six. Getting close to the halfway point of the match. Hingham won the first. Down here in the second. Now a couple of marks to fill it. They've been clawing the back all of a sudden. Holbrook with two strikes, the only strikes in this string right now. Two marks outstanding to none for uh, Hingham. Academy two up by a dozen right now, 266, 254. Down 41 in the match. So that's one spare up for bowler three, that's Whitcomb, and strike up for bowler five, that's uh, Holbrook. No marks for Academy. Mm -hmm. Brides with the Canadian bucket shot, they call it. Five of the nine. Did we ever confirm that was a widespread term? That's what they told me when I was there. 
dropping all kinds of new vernaculars there. I, I love getting the international perspective. Get the, I'd well, say the complete game. It was a men's only tournament, so not complete, but you know, an international scene there. Well, open in Canada means you're filling a spare strike. Open here means you're on mm -hmm. a spare strike. Spare for Baker. 54 out plus one, uh, second spare. Yeah, something like that. Austin Barnes has spare four to start, and spare seven to second. 10 box, 58 half. Here we go again. Hingham trying to make a move. They could, they've got the marks to do it now, certainly. Three marks to none, two spares and a strike, nothing for Academy two. Let's see if Baker can fill his big again. He did well with that double strike earlier. Barnes breaks the bucket with parallel time, like dark shadows, left to right, five, nine, six, ten. Great show in the 60s and 70s. Like that bucket, but worse. Baker, beautiful ball, four, seven, ten split though. Yep. Now, you wanna make the spare, but you don't wanna kick the bucket though, obviously. <laughs> He's too young. Just turned maybe kick that off the right side of the wood, though. Just turned 25 in December. Got the nine pin that time. Sean twice his age. Sean's still deliberating this. He's got flat wood in front of the four and seven. There's a piece way down low, but it might be too deep to collect both the four, seven, and ten. Can Baker in the house? Baker trying to kick it over. He got it! How about that one? Wow! Nice shot, spare. That's at least the second spare where Baker's found a knack to just move all the wood all at once and just throw everything at the object pin. After a spare, seven, 61 half. Another one, 71 of the ball through six. Three spares in the second of three. Yet another savvy shot. Barnes a seven, 65 through six. Here comes Ingham. For certain, the advantage is now tilting decidedly their way, 10 marks to nine. And they're only down two pins right now. And they got a spare and a strike on the board. Two spares and a strike now. That's right, two spares and a strike. Mm -hmm. Trying to use that new scoreboard. Trial run. Dave Godwin just missed three in a row. Good lead, power seven, one, two, four. Bob Wickham on a spare, 44 on a ball. Off to the left, four. 48 through four here in the second. Godwin, three out of four, just missed, not by much. It's been so close, Greg, all day, all night. Bob Wickham just missed the head pin, right, one and the seven. Yeah, just a board off for each of them. Missed a 235 for the nine, 61 half. And once again, pinning well, Bob takes a nine. 57 half on Canlipin Bowling Network. Now we're officially at the halfway point of the match. And that means station identification from Greg Gouillard. This is Canlipin Bowling Network on Facebook and YouTube. Make sure to like and follow on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube so that you're always in the know about the latest bowling content. Either way, thank you for your support just by watching. Cobwin starts the second half of the match. One wiggling three behind is the eight and the nine. Wood in front to possibly help. Bob Wickham, left side, takes down seven, one, three, seven. When you think of Clash, I think of guys like Craig Holbrook and Bob Wickham, obviously. Ooh, nice yes. shot for Godwin, how about that one? 71 of the ball through six, third spare of the string. Oh, what a shot for Wickham to match. 67 of the ball through six. Three spares each. Joe Smith on the right, 51 through four. John Winchell, 46 through four, not on marks. Friday Night Pro League, game of the week on Canlipin Bowling Network. Fourth time Smith has hit the head pin and not gotten the biggest thing. I wonder if the lack of velocity might be costing him a little bit, but it's a very solid approach that usually works for him. Check mark. To Smith, one, three, seven, ten for Winchell. For a spare, no. Hit the object, wouldn't get to the four, seven. 
And despite that, Smith has spared two of his splits, so it's not like it's really costing him. Winchell, great shot, just missed the 10 for a spare. Twice he's come close in shots like that. 10 for Smith, 61 half. Pin perfect half. All 10s and two spares. That's a full house. John Winchell gets a nine, 55 through five. Five's a wild. In the Yahtzee sense, right? Yeah, love Yahtzee. I won the 2024 family Yahtzee tournament and the first Uno tournament 2024, so I'm 2-0 this year. Cool. I'll never, take I'll take you on. We'll call it the World Series of Uno. I never got to play Skittle Bowl New Year's Eve like I usually do. <laughs> Smith Winchell. again with a check mark. Crossover, 7-10, so a 2 for one special here in a sense. Five middle, three, six, ten right for a spare. Won't go again. This time it's the 10 pin left up. Winchell, nothing doing. Pick your favorite pin here, John. Joe Smith, back-to-back -back tens. Three in a row, perfect so far. Mm -hmm. 71 through six. John, good pinning as usual, nine, 64 through six. Here come the anchor balls with an update from Greg Guillard after this. Tim Jalbert, 38 through four, no marks. A Greg Holbrook, a second strike, 46 plus two through four, Greg. Quick update, the pinning is within one right now, uh, slightly in Hingham's favor. But that pin might matter, because right now you see it's absolutely level on the string total right now, but still three marks to one in favor of Hingham. Jalbert nine, a pin for a spare. Go right at that pin if you can. Woods rolling around. Jalbert's best look at the string. Holbrook over double. Goes Ooh. back for the nine Ooh. to 10, has the one, two, spare chance. First ball on the strike on Thank lane three. Thank you. Tied right now on the string, 322, 322. For a spare, right on it. First mark of the second, 48 half plus one for Jim and Jalbert. Holbrook, oh, just missed. Nine to strike, 55 through four. Can't afford to miss that head pin twice. Meanwhile, Jalbert's got a head pin every single opportunity. Craig just missed for nine, 64th half. Now Hingham gets the lead, 340, 332, 332, up eight in the string. Jalbert takes down eight. Three right, five left. Wood to the right, one behind. Holbrook just missed left. One, three, 10, left side, four, seven, eight triangle. Jalbert, Ooh. ball rolls across the five, won't go. Ball went this way and that in front of the five pin as well for good measure, nothing doing. Every which way but loose. Great movie, but Clint Eastwood, the orangutan Clyde. Holbrook could try. The seven goes, not the 10. It's rolling wood back there, we'll see. Couldn't find electric charging station. Nine. Good job after the spare six, spare eight rather, 56 half. Nine, 65 through six. Holbrook a 10, 74 through six. Now an update from Greg Guillard. Here we are, two, two marks to one, outstanding for Hingham right now. So they have one pin and that extra mark right now. It is so close. Marks are exactly even right now, 11-11. Pinning is within one. Uh, yep, two marks to one for Hingham. That's absolutely right. All right, so one pin lead, 55 pin lead in the match for Hingham. The three seed leads the four seed, the defending champions. Jimbo Ayotte, 77 through six. Chris Jones, 74 through six. Both had great first strings. And look at this one. Oh boy. One, eight, nine, brutal. Spread Eagle plus the five. Jalbert, another two one split. He's had a lot of these tonight. Two, four, 10, but not a bad piece of wood behind the two. Jones. That's impressive. Almost pulled it off. Goodness. Oh, I've seen that shot almost go. Oh, what a shot for a spare. 
Joe getting a lot of practice in that shot tonight. 87 of all through seven. Jones a 10, Chris 84 through seven. And now Academy two can take the lead back. It's two marks apiece. It's a one pin lead for Hingham on the right in the second. Ayotte's marking just about as often as he is and come on camera, focus up. Mr. Jones on the nose, strike. 94 plus two through eight. Spread Eagle, ouch, on the spare for Jimbo. 91 through seven. At least he had a lot of good fills in the last string to balance that out. Now I can't do 106.7, magic 106.7 now. Alas. We bid, three, six, 10. Follow the bouncing ball. We gotta get Rio on the camera here for that suit check. We gotta get him on the lanes. If we peer pressure him loudly maybe, enough, maybe. Maybe we'll get him for an interview at the end of the match. Let's see. Let's just gesture vaguely at Rio and see what happens. <laughs> eight for AI. Nine, nine through eight. Josh, Josh likes to show off anyway. Oh, the chances <laughs> will come, I'm sure. He's a poet and you know it. <laughs> Boo. 94 through eight for Chris Jones. I Plus two it. through eight on the strike. What was that? I didn't hate it. A couple extra marks are hanging right now, so they've got the advantage again. I'll stick the candle from bowling announcing. <laughs> I did write some poems though when I was a kid, high school. Didn't get me anywhere. <laughs> we kind of all had to in school, didn't we? <laughs> kind of right. like haikus don't really make sense except, sense except in Japanese. Sean Bake with a check mark on the spare, 77 through six. Barnes breaks up the four horses, one, six, 10, 65 through six coming in. And a tight second string here in Averill. Baker chopped out the six, leads up the three, five, 10. Yeah, that score is correct. Five pin lead for Hingham right now, 376, 371. It'll One say 370 up side. there, but the fill of six hasn't gone on the board yet. The quirk of copy score. Good bid by Barnes. Has a pro series title already. Doubles match, he won with Nick Leach at Lita Lanes. Homer Skins with Cranifan Corner, Corey Lisi and Jordan Britton. Baker, a rare seven. Austin Barnes gains three of the 10. Austin, 75 through seven. Sean Baker, 84 through seven. Now it's 383, 381, hanging, hanging on to a two pin lead. They lead by a safety. Baker's second seven box. Pinning is still exactly even right now, though, so. No need it's for two panic. Two marks to one for Hingham right now, too. That's right. A strike and a spare to a spare. Mm -hmm. Look at this one, another 189. Aha! It's net twice here in the string. Austin Barnes in the pocket with a check mark. He's got the right side check mark. He's got the left side check mark, I should say. The five in the middle, two, four, seven left. Chris pinned his out well. Let's see about Sean. Baker, oh, what a try that was. Three in the 10. Boy, they, they're gonna get one of these one day if they keep this rate up. Always in every shot. Barnes to uncheck it. Can't get to the seven, good try. Nothing wrong with that shot. Wood rolling over. If one wanted to quibble, maybe the ball could have been placed in the two four and that's why that extra pin didn't go. Still a good crack at that. Baker field goal for an eight after a seven. 92 through eight. Had a 140 in the first. Austin a 117 first. Barnes 10, 85 through eight in the second of three. 391, 391, a dead heat here in the second, but two marks to one. Goes to Hingham, a spare here for Bob Whitcomb on the right, a spare for Dave Goblin on the left. Bob Whitcomb this season, high series 383, averaging 116.10, 34 years in a row, averaging 120 or better. Inducted in the Camp Hall of Fame October 21st. Imperative that Whitcomb gets this fill here. He does not want that mark to fizzle, otherwise we've got a tied string. He had a 122 in the first. One, three, seven, 10 on the spare, 73 through six. Godwin takes seven, maybe more. You were four, hit four. Four, seven, 10. Seven is the fill, 78 through six. He had a five box to start the string. Whitcomb, great shot, he got it! How about that? Back to back, 83 in the ball through seven. Godwin, oh, too bad. 
Thought he had it. Great shot by great ball. It won't go. I think it's even Dave Godwin who opined once, well, if the head pins up, it's a spare leave, isn't it? He's probably wishing he had Whitcomb's sleeve instead of the other way around. It robbed again. Ain't that the way. Check, check. It's the 10. 88 through 7 for the captain. Gets a laugh out of that one. One pin lead for Academy 2. 408, 407, trying to make it two points apiece. John Zappi, the captain for Hingham, did not have a good week last week, but either for that or just rotational reasons, not sit bowling in this match. He's been sick this week. Mm. Hope you're feeling better, John. Wickham for a strike. That looked good. Four left, nine right. Wood to help. A plethora of wood to deal with. Godwin, left side, one, three, six, nine behind the three. Bob Spears, eight, 91 through seven. The lead is seven in the string. 61 in the match. I have an idea. For the mark. Will it go? No. Godwin, off the wall, can't get to the three. Another good bid. Bob puts up his misery with a 10. 101 through nine, uh, 101 through eight make it. Dave Goffman gets the 10 to go. 98, through eight, 98 is it? Yep, that's. 98 through eight for Dave Godwin. Yes it is. One of my favorite numbers, 98. Oh yeah? Inside, inside joke of that with my friend George from Salem. Hmm. Sup George? His favorite number is 105. Mitchell, one, two, four, seven. Here's Joe Smith breaking the diamond and the triangle. Wobbling two, five to the right. Ugh, I don't know if I like that other piece of wood that might be in Smith's way. 71 through six coming in, John. 64 through six. That one got away. Short pinned it. Smith for a spare. Will it go? No. Oh. Wow. How did that fall? Two stumbles, two bumbles. Still stands. I thought Bumbles bounced. Winchell, tough seven. 71 through seven. Smith gains two with a nine. 80 through seven. Winchell throwing 35 and Smith throwing 31. Just a moment ago, Bobby Witt, Bobby Witt uh, threw a 35 mile an hour ball. He, he has not, he's been closer to 32, 33. He says he's um, adjusted, his feet feel better. First ball now for John Winchell. Half whistle. All right, thanks, Bob. Joe Smith for the Freddy. How many Freddy goals have you seen tonight? I could count that. Oops. The video feed froze. Oops. This should be easier. <laughs> okay. All right, back to. I know how to fix that camera. We have an app for that. I know how to fix that camera. Here we go. Winchell. Good bid. Almost. Leaves with 10. Craig Holberg made this earlier today for a spare, but that right in the middle. He's on the head pin, you could say. Hingham hang on to a five pin lead right now, but they got marks in their favor. One to none. Hey, mark in their favor, I should say. A strike for Chris Jones, the lead up bowler. John the channel for nine, 80 through eight the minimum, and a tough five in the object pin for Smith. It's so harsh. Smith has been eight. on the head pin at least six, maybe seven times. I might have missed that last frame. And he's just not getting any good leaves out of it whatsoever. The anchor ball is up right now. Craig Holbrook, 74 through six. has two strikes in the string. Fills of eight and nine. Tim Jalbert, 65 through six. Holbrook, thin hit. One, two, seven, ten. The two goes. The one goes. Seven, ten goal balls. He's got a sea of wood. Jalbert, nine, ten. Wood rolling around. Two pieces. Sometimes you have too much wood. Holbrook for a spare. Got the seven. Got the ten. Spare. How about that? Ricochet spare. 
there was wood involved in that. There's no way he made that clean, did he? No, it was like five or six pieces in the deck. Yeah. 84 and a ball through seven. I thought like somehow I'd have missed it, but no. Jalbert, oh, he got it, spun it around. Jim and Jalbert, 75 and a ball through seven. Late in the second. Jalbert could be a lot higher right now. He's head pin perfect in this string right now, despite that only two spares. He had a strike and string one of the world finals, a thriller, one of the best matches ever called on Canopy Bowling Network. Really? On Really, I think missing that 3-5 was Tim's only outright error right now. Who was 41? Tim Jalbert with that 41. Nine pin lead for Hingham. Holbrook on the spare with a check mark again. Six in the fill. Holbrook at 90 30. through seven. Jalbert seven in the spare. 82 through seven. A touchdown lead for Hingham right now. Holbrook for another mark. Looks good. He got it. Back to back, 100 in the ball through eight. And a 128, as did Tim Jalbert in the first. He's got three pieces to the right. A bunch formation for a spare. He got it, the ball at the seven. Just like the world's ball comes out of nowhere. Back to back, 92 in the ball through eight. Good. Final two boxes for each bowler here in the second of three. Good bowlers find a way somehow. It is 467 to 459 in Hingham's favor with that extra mark. Two extra two marks to one outstanding right now. You got Whitcomb and Holbrook already over 100 at this box eight point. Ayotte and Godwin and Jalbert perhaps not much further back. Hingham up by a touchdown in, this, in a two point conversion. Eight points, eight pins. A strike here from Chris Jones on the left. Jimbo Ayotte, 99 through eight, open, not on the mark. Head pin hit for a strike, nine. Wiggle on the eight. Jones for a double strike, missed left. One, three, six, 10, holds up. Academy two had quite a few of those get over you or hit moments. Jimbo, got it to go. Phew, 109 to the ball in the ninth. Don't hurt him. That's a Jeff Walsh bulldozer shot. Jones chops out the three, second ball on the strike. Seven is the fill, 101 through eight. And the marks are one apiece now. A out like he was last week, the or current two. MVP of Academy two. Two to one rather for Academy. Jones with a nine. One ten to nine. At a 125 first, Jim at a 127 first. I'll confirm, but yeah, I do see two marks to one and that's in Academy's favor. Think about 14 right now, 483, 469. As we see it, these scoreboards yep. are backwards from what they appear up there from our point of view, Paul. Okay, Jimbo, head pin hit, eight, nine, on the spare. One, 18 through nine, Jones missed right, spins around. Four spin plus the nine, 10. Three pieces of wood it looks like from our vantage point way back here, low above court side. The wood might make this shot slightly more tenable, otherwise four horsemen in the 9-10 is really tough. Big shot, spare! Clutch again. Six marks for Ayotte. Jones open, one, two, four, seven. And that makes 10 for him overall today. Jimbo, 128 and the ball in the 10th for Academy 2, the defending champs. Ayotte yeah, through 30. Two points apiece. Ayotte through 39, Jones through 37. Jones the nine. Another good string. 125 first, 119 second. Yep. 244 through two. Jimbo at 255 through two, but he's on. A big spare fill here on lane four at Academy Lanes. Pub 125 Haverhill Mass. The Friday Night Pro League came with a week on Candlepin Bowling Network. Now it quiets down. This despite another Friday night match to our right. Justin Scali's team won the first by 21 to our right. Jimbo, tough shot there. That's three, I think, Paul. Only three is right. They'll take a 131, second string, 258 through two. Eight boxes to go. It's a one pin lead for Hingham. One mark for each side. Here we go again. Oh, it might come down to the anchors if all said and Both done. Both anchors are on marks on the spares. Austin Barnes, 85 through eight. Sean Baker, 92 through eight. Strike for Barnes, big strike. 95 plus two in the ninth, clutch. Oh, no, no, no. 
Josh, thank you. Baker, half Worcester. Josh DeBro, how you doing, man? Doing well. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Josh just told me I'm Bob Lee from Executive Producer. His father just said that he is going to be bringing in an electrician on Monday to, to give us a connection over here so that we can have live stream. So you, you'll be watching this uh, over the weekend, I hope, uh, and uh, maybe for, for an ensuing Fridays as, as we come down to the pennant race, three great teams out of this out of this house. It's a great atmosphere. You should come down and watch it and live. Only a 10 minute ride for me. Yay. I love it. We finally warmed up. We finally warmed down. But this, this is a place we, we should be here regularly for Friday night game of the week. Yeah, it's been one of those things too. It's It's been on our list of things to do, but not that high on that list. Um, unfortunately, things that are uh, prioritized ahead of it have been, uh, but it, 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 it's, it's, it's one of those things that it has been on our minds to get done. Yeah, of course, of course. How's your daughter Amelia doing? Uh, daughter's doing great. She's comfortable. She's home. Um, I can't thank the bowling community enough for all the support. Um, it's been overwhelming at times, and um, and uh, it really proves that uh, it's a great community with great people in it. And I really can't thank everyone enough. It's been great. But, no, she's she's great. She's home. And, um, yeah, I can't be happier about it. It's my first night back at the lanes, too, in a couple of months. So it's good to be home. All right. Great story. Yeah, yeah. Continual prayers for. Thank you. Man. Appreciate everything from uh, Candlepins for Cancer for helping out. And, uh, yeah, every, everyone in the community has been great. So thanks again. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Josh DeBro. Class Act, 61st year of Academy Lanes Bowling here. Uh, and hopefully 60 more. That's right. That's going to take over the helm, right? Uh, that's the goal. That's the goal, and then hopefully my kids uh, also take over the home too. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Awesome. Nice talking, Good Josh DeBro. Thank you. Good to see you. Take care. All right, Greg. Take us away. What happened? We're talking to Josh. John Baker got that spare there. Barnes got elected a lot of sticks there, and now has the ten box, and uh, we'll put that there. One thirteen, and Baker will have that uh, last bonus ball. Yes, folks, as you gleaned from that, Amelia, uh, daughter of the DeBro, is going through uh, cancer health Keep issues it, yeah. there, and. Uh, happy to hear that good news. That was news to me as well. So uh, wonderful to hear, and we continue to send uh, our best. And so glad that the Candle Fits for Cancer support and uh, that orange wristband fundraiser you had going there yep. has uh, done a lot. Baker three fill, 114. Okay. So six boxes to go in the second of three, a good one. Update from Greg Guyar, real quick. Guyar. Let's take a look here. One mark apiece. Five pins, still the gap here. So Academy 2 is in the lead, but... Even pinning could affect that total right now. Or a field tilting one way or the other. It's still all to play for. He was close in the first. He lost by 54 at the end. The depth up five here. One mark apiece. Here's Dave Godwin with a diamond. But good news, the wood behind dealt that sleeper pin the nine and back. That is all confirmed. Bob Wickham, half Worcester. Ouch, two in the eight. He had 98 through eight. 101 through eight, rather. Dave Godwin, 98 through eight. For a spare, just missed the three. Collected all the others, interestingly. Half Worcester bit is going to collect sticks, but nothing else. So at least Whitcomb escapes the frame. Goblin, nine. 107 through nine. Bob Wickham, nine to tie the box. One, ten through nine. Five box to go. One string after this to wrap it up. A great match. Yeah, single pins can eat. five. Yep, single pins can matter when the margins is this tight. Academy two in the right, up by five pins. One spare for the anchor balls. Third ball is here, wrapping up the second. Godwin missed right. One, seven, nine, ten. Three pieces on the deck. Bob Wickham, beautiful ball. Only four somehow. The bucket plus the 10. The hay bale, the diamond plus the seven. On the left. G whiz. Colin try to lead his team to tie the match at two apiece. He's got wood to help. And what a shot that was, but nothing to show for it. Look at this. And brutal, the wood disappears, and now the pinning is a nightmare as well. Three-quarter picket fence, 7-9-10. Wickham half, Worcester, ouch. Oh, good grief. We're going to get in a pinning fight here. 4-7-5-10. Godwin, 7. One fourteen second string. 2-0-6 through 2. Wickham, he gets 7 a match. One seventeen second string. 2-39 through 2. Four blocks to go. 
Yeah, Wickham really tried to shade that over to the 4-7, tried to make maybe the 4-7-9 to try and grab an extra right here. 5-35, 5-30, Academy 2 hanging on to a slim handful lead. Five pins, one spare for each side. Joe Smith, head pin hit. Nine, wiggle the five, won't go. Smith's best look, all string. John Winchell, 83-8, head pin hit. 2-1 split, four left, three, six right. Woods should be covering for Smith right here, though. He's definitely gonna wanna play at least left of the line. For a spare, he got it! 95 of the ball, two arcs to one for Academy two. They have the lead. Look center right, good enough. Winchell trying to kick it over, good try. Got a bounce for a moment there. Winchell's been generally on again, off again, the head pin this string. You're sleeping those chicken tenders and fries still, huh? Can't get a word in edge. <laughs> Got to get all my words in edgewise somehow. John Winchell 10, 90 through 9. Three box to go here in the second of three. A dandy. Five pin lead for Academy, two on the right, plus two marks to one. On the nose, another Ooh. spread eagle, four fill. What a time for that. 99 through 9, nine's a wild for Smith. There's been a nine pin lead though, one mark apiece. Winchell half whisper again, two in the eight. Get a 112 in the first. Joe, 110 in the first. Gets two of the six, two, three, six, ten. Big second off Winchell in the pocket, five middle, four left. Good to come back. Try to get one for nine. Good sticks. Smith trying to get three here. Two for an eight after a spare four. Winchell gets the nine. 99 second string, 211 through two. Eight box for Joe Smith, 107 second string, 217 through two. Two box to go, both on spares. Here Believe we go. Eight for Academy two. Hingham needs a touchdown, the two point conversion to tie. Stills could swing this. Jalbert, seven, two, four, five, triangle on the spare. 99 through eight. Craig Holbrook on a big spare fill, lane three. On the crossover, check mark. Five middle, two, four, seven left. Six on the spare. 106 through eight. Second he, straight check mark for Holbrook again. You gotta get the head pin angle just right or they might flutter away. A spare off the wall! Jim and Jim, three in a row! 109, the ball through nine. Holbrook needs it to keep pace. He got it! Ooh. He came back for the four, how about that? Final box. 116 of the ball through nine. Like you said, Paul, two, five, seven, four in that order. I thought it was a 10 pin, oh, it was a, yeah, it's a nine pin lead for Academy two. Five, seven, four, five, six, five is confirmed, spare each. Holbrook obviously needs another mark, a strike would be huge. Jalbert on the nose for strike, nine and a half. 118 through nine. <coughs> Holbrook needs to fill big and net right now. Only five. Ooh, hang on. Up. 121 through nine. Jabba trying to put it away here. Actually, I think he has. Got it! I think he has, in fact. And Four by, marks in a row. And that is head pin perfect for Tim Jalbert. 10 for 10 on the head pin. Craig with the Star Trek character, the Queen Book, seven to nine, and Academy Two will tie it at two points apiece. Jim and Jalbert on a roll, four marks in a row. Holbrook eight, 129 second string. He had it on the box nine, Phil, Tim Jalbert. 257 through two for Holbrook. 128 in the ball for Jalbert. Had a 128 in the first. Adds 10 more, strike on spare, wow, what a finish. Four straight marks in boxes <laughs> seven through 10. A big 20 to wrap it up, 138. 
So two points for Academy, too. I told you anything could happen in these next few strings as we go into the final string. 603 to 578, was it? Still four match points to play. Yep, 603, 578. They take 25 off the deficit. That cuts to 29 in the match. 1205 to 1177 is confirmed. And just like that, here's Chris Jones for string three. 29 pin lead for Hingham. There's a strike for Jones to start the final string. Jimbo Ayod, another spread. Are you kidding me? Bob Lee. Yes, ball in uh, Academy One has taken their second game, 623 to 597. Good good outing for Riverwalk, but... Uh, Look at this shot for... Oh, hey, I almost got the second spread eagle conversion tonight. Fred Jeff, made one earlier. Jeff Walsh, Walsh with the 138 was the high bull. The bulldozer. Yeah. All right, thanks, Bob Lee. And we'll see Academy One next week, the seventh seed, not the eighth seed, seventh seed against number five, Central Two, coming into tonight anyway. A out of nine, out the eagle. Hingham trying to get six points, so is Academy Two. Three versus four. Paul Grant, Greg Guya, Bob Lee live. Well, not live, we're recording tonight, actually. But the good news you heard earlier, they're gonna be doing some hookups here. Give me my mic back, you got your own, live-ish. <laughs> That's right. Oh! Jones, double strike, what a start! Oh, Bang! yes. 30 plus bonus balls out of the gate in the third. Chris Jones bowling is a way of sneaking up on you, I tell you. Out of Webster Timberlands, Abington, Mass, John Pumphrey's house, the president of the Massachusetts Bowling Association, a great job since taking over in 2019. What a job he's done there with Lucy's Restaurant Bar also. Home of the chocolate chip cookie pizza. Delicious. And MBA has, that's again, Massachusetts Bowling Association, MBA, yep. um, has interesting news. They're actually uh, starting up a Massachusetts average car tracking program or reinvigorating it, I suppose. And for a $6 membership, uh, members can log on and basically uh, have their averages certified for MBA tournaments, in effect. Good try by Ayotte, leads up to seven. More information can be found on at least their Facebook page, Massachusetts Bowling Association, and I believe on their official site as well. In fact, surely their official site. They've refurbished it well also. A lot of dues that a bowler could be paying in a year between this and the uh, coming Players Association, the Candlepin Bowlers Association. Uh, not yet activated, but might be soon. Jimbo gets to 10, 19 through two, but what a start for Hingham. Chris Jones, a double strike. That'll, uh, yeah, here we go. That shows up as a green square on the green background between total and game. Never got to the averages earlier, uh, Greg. Uh, Chris had a 114.96 Friday Night Pro League average, high single this season on the Friday Night Pro League, 157 with a pair of 400s. Jimbo Aon averaging 119.88 with a 414 high three and a high single of 154 in the series in the Friday Night Pro League game of the week. Yeah, Jones had a 338 last week. He's on pace to crush that right now. Baker clip wing eagle. He had double strike himself earlier. Barnes 5-2 split. Austin has a 117, the 113. Sean Baker a 140 and a 114. I don't really have time to check, but I'm curious who hasn't got a spread eagle so far. Been a bunch. Baker 367. Austin Barnes, beautiful ball. Will it go? Yes! Second time he's made, at least, he's made a beautiful washout shot like that. Ten of the ball to start the final string. Baker and eight. Hingham won the first, a close one. They pulled away at the end, 627, 574. But Academy Two came back, 603 to 578. You know, 29 coming in up here early in the third. Sean Baker crossing over eight, make it nine. Wood in front of the 10. Barnes on the crossover, seven, 17 through one, three, five, six triangle. Wood to the right. Yeah, by my count. I'll Baker spare, 18 the ball through two in the final string of the match. Barnes for two in a row, he got it! 27 of the ball through two. The rise of Austin Barnes. Very nice. By my count, only uh, Austin Barnes and then Chris Jones and Sean Baker are the only bowlers who haven't had a spread eagle today. 
How dare they? <laughs> Come on, one of us, one of us. Join the crowd. Come on. So I guess with a working ball like Barnes has, that explains at least that. Bob Wickham, 122 and 117, starts his final string in lane four here at Academy Lanes. Pub 125, Haverhill Mass. Two in the 10. Wood to the left, Wood behind. Dave Godwin, 1 8, 6 10 right. Wood behind the one, two pieces to the left. After 92 first, a nice second string, 114. He bowled like a 140 string, you could say. Wickham trying to kick it over. He got it! Ooh! Spare to start the third. Godwin, he got his! What a shot for a spare! Great batch. Marks are flying early. Good to see him back in the game. He's injured most of the year. Only bowled six times this year so far. First time back in six weeks. Both on spares, Wickham on the nose. Two, six, seven, 17 through one. Godwin, one, eight, nine, 10, 16 through one. A Hall of Famer on lane four for another one. Good bid. Got the object pin, won't carry. Six right, seven left. Godwin for a spare. What was wrong with that shot? Got jammed up by the wood, harsh. Eight, nine, 10. And again, Godwin flies a head pin away and gets left with junk in the back row. Too Mike, bad. Mike McIntosh, 3.0 in the house. Hello. Wickham in nine. Nine for Godwin. Dave, 25 through two. Bob Wickham, 26 through two. We got Mr. Mike McIntosh, 3.0 in the house. Mike, it's tax season. It's not yet. Let's not rush us there. We got a couple <laughs> weeks left, okay? It's slow. We gotta, we gotta plant the seed. Pump the brakes, Paul. Put, put, right. Plant the seed here. <laughs> no, we're getting there. 24-7 bookkeeping and tax. Yeah, you, you guys know how to get a hold of me by now if they've been watching well, the viewers this don't. What, stream. The, the new viewers, tell them how. The Facebook, 24-7, or find me, Mike McIntosh, on Facebook. 24-7. Bookkeeping and tax, Inc. We're incorporated now, big big time. And I'm not supposed to say this, but Mike also does singing as well, if you want to book a birthday party. <laughs> I can't sing right now. No, But yes, right. yes, yes, I do. You can also find me uh, by the same name, believe it or not. Uh, on Facebook. And your kids are bowling well, too. Yeah, they're bowling. That's the important thing. They're bowling. Yep, always always been great. Shane's getting up there, too. Yeah, Winchell, nice shot. Spare. So one of these one of these days, we're going to get you guys down here to do a kids' tournament, right? We're going to stream a kids' tournament, I think. I can't even do you. Never mind the kids. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my kids don't mind. All right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, All right. Paul. All right. McIntosh, 3.0 on the upgrade. Great shot by John Winchell for the spare. The ball at the 10. To start his third, Joe Smith a 10. Let's get an update from Greg Guyar. It's interesting, just a few five boxes have actually tanked Smith, which is a little too bad. He's had one in each of the strings. Despite that, he's had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten boxes. Which will spare us nine. Pinning is such a fickle science sometimes. 19 through one, three pin for a spare. Smith, no spread eagle this time, surprise. But it's got the four on the left, three, six, ten on the right. Get your friends out to can up and bowling, nothing like it. Get the youth, friends and family involved. A sport for all ages. 102 year old tomorrow here at Academy Lane with Charlie. We'll see him Wednesday, 9.30. Special broadcast on Canelphon Chat or Canelphon Bowling Network. Winchell picks it up. Back to back spares, 29 of the ball through two. Smith wraps around the six. Oh. Another fluttering pin, ain't that the way? Gets the 10, two tens, 20 through two. Chris Jones, a double strike after the ankle bowlers on lanes three and four. And sometimes comments on videos are saying like, well, they're throwing the ball too hard. Maybe if they took a little bit off, that's sometimes true, but the pendulum could swing the other way. And sometimes with not enough velocity, you just don't get enough pin aerodynamics. Though again, that has not nearly always been true for Smith. He's having a particularly rough go of it this time. Holbrook having a fine night in the anchor spot. One, three, nine, ten. Tim Jalbert, six right, two, four, seven left. Splat. Five splits already for Academy 2 on their side of things. Craig at 128, 129. Tim Jalbert, 128, 138. 
Holbrook missed that one somehow. Suddenly losing the range a bit. It's been bowling very well though. And look at this. It's coming back. Oh, it just ran out of room. No. Ran out of real on. estate. We need Josh Rio to get that back on the real estate. Don't go. And Craig Holbrook missed the second, make the third. That's the Paul Grand Special. Only said it twice tonight. Ten box. Right two. Job at nine. Oh, wait, in the final string. I better not say strike if it's not actually a strike. <laughs> uh, Baker's does lead for Hingham. What, a does Sean Baker, strike. what does Sean Baker have to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> it has a lot to do with tonight's lead. Now 141st, set the tone. Yes. Holbrook powers the head pin. Got the 10 to go. Seven pin for a spare. Job at one, two, spare chance. What a great sport, Kenlop and Bowling. Holbrook with the wood. Wiggles and wobbles, won't go. Chava missed left. Mm. Yeah, you saw that frustration there. Chris Jones coming a double strike next on Kenlop and Bowling Network. And we do mean a good game for everyone. I think there was a wait list to get into the center room here at Academy Lanes. Just now. Low bowling. Holbrook at 10, Chava at 9. Of course. Craig 20. Tim 18, a pair of nines for Tim, a pair of tens for Holbrook. Take a look here. So at top of the order, Chris Jones with that double strike coming up. So Hingham stacking up a big mark advantage at the current moment. Effective seven marks to three with their second double strike of the day. So it's 28 after two, not 29, right? 28 pin lead, not 29, correct? So it's 42 in the match right now. Yeah, Hingham. they came in with 28. 28, not 29, okay, mm -hmm. fix that. Jimbo Ayo at 9 of the 10 to start. Oops. 6 10. That one got away. Chris Jones going for the triple strike on lane three. On the. Oh, just missed the head pin. I thought he had it. Just curved left. 26 in the first double strike box. 26 through one. 36 in the ball through two. Look at the 1 3 6 10. Jimbo Ayo, nice shot. Spare. 29 in the ball through three. It's all there. For a spare and double strike. Oh, too full. 17, the double strike second ball. 30. Should be 44 through two. 43 through two, I have it. Wait. Let's see. That's right, six in the first one, right? 43 through two. Gets the 10. Yep. 50. It is, uh, yeah, so it's six and seven. So 43 through two, 10, 53 through three. The power of the double strike. And the quirk of CompuScore not updating until the box is completely rolled, but. There we go. And both double strikes for Hingham tonight. There's a pin break dancing out there on the pin play. One, three, seven, ten. Chris Jones, after double strike, it's a 5 2 split. At that 10 box. Great start. It's been terrific all year. Jimbo missed number one. Fourth box, final string of the match. Nice second shot, Ooh. almost. He's up the 10. Ayot, nine. 44 through four. Four's a while for Jimbo Ayot for Academy Two. Tied two points apiece. Jones stays perfect with a 10. 63 through four. Perfect game in Caleb Bowling. Tens, spares, and strikes. What a start, 63 through four. Gets team a 22 pin lead in the string. Yep, all scores confirmed, I was worried for a second there. And two marks to one in their favor also. That's right. Austin Barnes, second spare in a row, 27 the ball, eight more, nine. 36 through two, six pin for three in a row. Sean Baker, eight and a spare on lane three. In the pocket, nine. That was a beautiful walk, <laughs> doesn't he, Greg? 27 through two. Someone else and I get a kick out of seeing Baker's little wiggle he does before he shoots his shot. Barnes a spare. It's really him getting his legs set, but. Three marks to for Austin Barnes. 46 in the ball through three here in the third. Right there, that wiggle. Baker, he got it. Back to back. 
37 of the ball through three. What a battle. Yeah, Barnes has three straight, and Baker went back to back. Two spot going off right now. You know what? 22 in the string, 50 in the match. That is not a safe lead at this juncture of the final string. Yeah, really a lot of it is Academy 2 just running into splits at the current moment. That fortune can shift. Barnes, pocket shot. Oof. Triangle, two, four, five, six to the right. I think that's a crossover on his ball because he goes from left to right there. That, so. 52 through three. Brutal outcome. Baker on the crossover, nine more. Make it 10, strike on the delay. He's got three in a row. 47 through three, 57 plus two through four. Barnes trying to kick it over, good try. Barnes, the number two spot tonight. Most of the year, the number two spot. It's a nine, 61 through four, great start again. The lead is 27 for Hingham in the strength, 55 of the match. We've got quite a few 400 watches going right now. Currently, Jones could pin out 367. Baker could pin out 371. Holbrook with a few boxes back on 357. Jimbo A out 362 he could pin out. Barnes could pin out 351. And Tim Jalbert could pin out 364. There's plenty of boxes left. Really, any of them have a case. Dave Godwin, the Canadian setback shot, 5 6 10. Here's Bob Wickham. 26 through two, Dave 25 through two. He crosses over, he's got six, look at this one. Seven, five, nine, 10, left to right. And he did some research before the match, Greg, today, and eight of the starters here tonight. Good try by, God, and after this box, I'll tell you about that. Wickham, five, seven, 10, brutal. Ten for Godwin, 35 through three here in the third. Wickham, eight, 34 through three. All eight of the regular balls tonight, not including the subs, all have 400s this season. Josh Daly leads the Friday night probably with five, not obviously at tonight. Peter Crawford has two 400s, Nate Lee's has two, Chris Jones has two 400s. The subs, Joey Lister in four appearances has two 400s. And five at the triple strike pole. Peter Crawford twice with it. Six strikes in a row. Frank DeLuca, John Winchell, and Nick Leach are triple strikes. Here's a strike on cue. Dave Godwin. He can't believe it. Almost fainted. <laughs> Sarcastically. Such a character. 45 plus two through four. Mm. Ain't that the way? Wickham misses the head pin and he's got his best leave. Well, it all averages out. 6-10. Wooden front to help. It's only the first time he's missed the head pin, I mean to say. On the board, spare. Actually, a second spare, 43 in a ball through four. Mm -hmm. He had a spare, 7-8-7, seven, seven, now a spare. Yeah, and that was on a sweet 2-10 conversion. Fourth ball is Joe Smith on the right, two tens. John Winchell, spare nine in the spare, 29 in the ball through two on lane three. Yeah, Hangham's raking in right now. Mark's situation is 9-6 to six in their favor. Of 25 in the string, 53 in the match. That's still a lot. I guess it's effectively 10 to 6. Remember, Jones had a double strike as well. Smith, right side, 5. And at the risk of sounding like a broken record, the pinning is even. Winchell, left of the head pin, 5. 34 through 2. Lead us 30 in the string. Smith, all but number 1. Winchell, one, three, six, nine, seven left. Wood behind that, possibly help. Great bid, won't carry the seven, nine. Smith gets the 10, three tens, 30 through three. Smith is the master of 10 boxes tonight. John gets the 10 himself, 44 through three. Hingham has a 30-pin lead in the string, 58 in the match. In the mark situation, Hingham with two marks, Academy two with one mark. A strike on each side also. Half Worcester plus the nine went down for Smith. Mm -hmm. 
Winchell on the crossover. Takes down eight, nine in the 10. Wood to help. Oh, they were both hit. Goodness. Could be by Joe, five, six, 10. Great crowd in hand watching tonight. <laughs> John for a spare, he got it. J-O-N, John Winchell, 54 and a ball through four. Third mark in four boxes. Joe Smith, nine, 39 through four without a mark. Tim Jalbert on the right, two nines. Craig Holbrook on the left, two tens. Hingham holding on to a 31 pin lead in the string. They split the first two. We'll try to talk to one of the bowlers before we sign up tonight if we have time or they can do the interview. We gotta talk to Josh Rio in that suit though. You can't not. Well, maybe we can't. Tim Jalbert, head pin hit, three, four, seven, ten. Third box, third string. Holbrook, only four. They get five. In front's the one, three, six. Behind is the eight and the five, left to right. What a shot, mm. almost. Really? Come on. Turnaround shot, almost went for a spare. Very hard. Goodness. Holbrook missed left. One, three, six, and the five behind one. Jalbert missed for nine. Playing poker, three nines, 27 through three. Holbrook gets a nine, 29 through three. At this box, top of the order. Well, the margins are pretty wide apart, so the difference of 9 and 10 doesn't seem like it would be much, although we saw it get close in that second string until Jalbert just went nuts at the end and just completely stole the show from Holbrook at the very end. The coach, Lane Britton, in the house here. we got your daughter, Sharon Britton, the number two seed in Campus for Cancer next Saturday, but January 13th, Listen, 10 a.m. You stole the mic away from Greg just to get me on. That ain't right. You hey, can't do that to Greg. The coach, the coach <laughs> has preference over, you know, the, the regular roster, you know? Oh, come on. You can't do that to Greg. He's an all-star. Yeah. <laughs> I know. You're, it's a good thing. that when we, we talk a lot about Sharon, and I'm glad we talk about Sharon and not me because that's what it's about right now. That's coming up next Saturday, right? Yeah, 10 o'clock start. Mike Morham will be there also Excellent. with Greg Guillard and myself. And, and, you know, I, I don't want to speak for Mike, but I mean, he seemed, you know, really Holbrook excited. Spare. He seemed really excited to see a young lady like Sharon who he really didn't know and watch her bowl, and he had a lot of good things to say, and that's that's really neat, you know. So. She was number one seed last year, season. Number two this time. Yeah. Not bad, huh? Yeah. She's, she's, she was excited to have it be in her home alley, you know. So. Job at 9, 36 through 4. Holbrook a Spare, 39 the ball through 4. Update from Greg Guillard before we talk to the coach again. Got 11 marks to six right now. Hey, thanks for the mic back. Just kidding. Um, three pins apart in the pending department right here. Remember, a lot of extra marks are hanging right now, so this third string is currently running away, but still more than half of it to go. Your son Jordan Britton doing the skins with Corey Alisi, Mr. Candlepin Corner. Candlepin Corner, yeah, they're uh, they're plugging along. It's it's fun because I've got the opportunity to bowl with Jordan this year and uh, join the league that he's um, the treasurer in, and uh, so it's pretty neat to be able to bowl with my son for once. Are you showing him up yet? Uh, not yet. He's he's uh, he's doing well. He's getting better himself. So I'm just I'm just there to keep working on my game as we get healthy. Well, if he's picking the Super Bowl, go do the opposite of what he picks. Oh, what a shot for a spare! That's How about the, that one? That's the four eight into the six nine ten. Brilliant. Come and watch the Friday Night Pro Bowlers because they, they make it look so easy sometimes. Yeah, I missed yeah. that chance for a spare to match. Wasn't there nine? Uh, but yeah, it's three it, half. It, it's good to see certain things happen, and, and, and you know Jordan back into the game after he stepped out for a while, and Sharon's doing what she's doing. Um, and you've so only had knee hip surgery, knee surgery replacement, and hip surgery replacement, right? Yes, yeah, sir. And, and what's next? You know, you laugh. I, unfortunately, I, I had to go back to the back doctor, and there's going to be something down the road again down on my back. It's just, it is what it is. I'm, unfortunately, I'm too old now, I guess. 
So I'm falling you're the apart. Tin, you're the tin man, huh? Yeah, you're going to get close to being that. I'm getting there. Seven to spare for Chris Jones. 80 half. But as always, Paul, I appreciate you and what you do for us out here in this game. And, uh, you know, the fact that you, you, you promote it the way you've done so far. And, you know, you're a big asset to this this uh, whole this whole community. You really are. So we, I thank you myself personally, as always. Thank you, Len. You're awfully kind. Well, Team ball spare. Truth. Yeah, truth is the truth. You get, you know, if not everybody can see the, the writing on the wall sometimes, so you hope eventually they do. All right, Coach Lane Britton, we'll see you next Saturday, January 13th, for the yep. Candle Pins for Cancer, yes, sir. women's Thank top you, five show. Let me steal the mic. <laughs> come, back to, come down to Riverwalk Lane's Amesbury Mass to watch the ladies. Greg. Lane, you can steal at any time, no problem. The coach, two national championships in semi pro football. All right, Greg, give us an update while we're away. Talk to at one point, Hingham actually had all the marks showing on screen, all the yellow up. Uh, right now, closest to 400 at the current moment, it's Sean Baker, including the fact he's filling a strike fill. Oh, boy. Well, that's seven. A yeah, double strike earlier, 3 nine, 10. So Sean Baker can pin out at least 378. That is, if he gets all tens all the way. Three series is high three so far. In relief, subbing in. Barnes drills nine. Increasingly, I'm thinking nine might be more a realistic par box these days, but, or maybe it just always is, rather. Baker Ooh. got to go, spare, at strike. 67 through four, 77 half plus one. Outstanding. Barnes, spare, what a half he's having. 71 of the ball. Yeah, four marks and five for Barnes, four marks and five for Baker. The two spots are going off, this is fun. 48 pins up for Hingham right now. 74 pin lead in the Plus match. Plus one extra mark. Despite the bevy that they're throwing up. and They're not marks until they're filled like that. Potential playoff semifinal or final in May at Central Park Lane's East Boston Mass. Coverage on the Candlepin Bowling Network on YouTube and Facebook. Baker six on that seven make it. Four, eight, ten on the spare. 84 half remarkable for another one not this time Ugh. that would have been four in a row would have been five in a row eight box and four marks Barnes back to back 78 through five with that spare seven another spare 88 the ball through six he keeps his composure in the lanes really well Sean, the channel, that's a nine, 93 through six in the final string. I seem to remember Austin Barnes was actually having a lot of struggles in the early part of the season, which may have coincided with Academy Two struggles. Last week, 339, not bad, but this week he's going to surpass it handily. You don't see Sean laugh a lot. He's very stoic, very serious in the lanes, all business, but having a good time. He's definitely loosened up over time, I've noticed. Even in the ICC, I noticed that as well. A delight to be around. Bud Light should sponsor him. <laughs> Bud Light Baker. Well, there was a mixed worlds team for a start. That's right. The old Penny Lane team converted to Bud Light. God, that one got away. Only one, but it's first ball on the strike. Wickham has fluked a nine fill here. He did not get that head pin, actually. Nine in the spare, 52 through four. High octane start. Uh, should be nine, 50. Oh, then I'm a pin off, sorry. 60, uh, 52 now through four. For another one, he's got it. Back to back, he's got three in the string. 62 and a ball through five. Godwin, second ball strike, half. Worcester, are you serious? A three fill. 48 through four. Ouch. Still filling a strike though. Yeah, that was the second oh, no, that, one. That was second one, sorry. Got the 10 and then the half Worcester. Yep. Tough break. Big out and a tough three. Cruel game. 51 half. Shakes his head, can't believe it. Gotta stop watching my videos. That hurts. So many splits all over the place, it's nuts. All of a sudden, Hingham's up to 59, the lead on the string. Not big in the match. Yep, that is confirmed, 336 to 277. Wickham spare fill. Nine. Again a fluke, nine. 71 half for the Hall of Famer. God, went only two. Can't find the range all of a sudden. 
Sometimes you start pressing when you miss. You have noticed some tension in some of his throws. He's really determined to make a difference Look again. Up, another spare. Remember, Godwin had a really good last week, averaging about 120 or so. He really wants to make that difference again, as he always has, injury or otherwise. Look up three in a row, 81 the ball through six, four spare the third. But in so doing, might be rushing the release a bit. Much easier said than done. I am a guy in a chair just making the remarks. Godwin, tough seven. A strike three, a three, and a seven. Crazy game, 58 through six. Trying to move on to the next box. Hingham trying to get six points in the driver's seat right now, just past the halfway point of the final string. Well, if it wasn't that, it's the deluge of marks, though, for Hingham. I'm not sure why the video's flickering a bit, but 15 marks to nine right now, six extra marks on Hingham's side. John on the spare. John Winchell, 54 on a ball. Six, what between the one, three, six, ten right. 60 through four. Joe Smith, one, four, seven. Three tens to nine so far. John with the wood to stop work rolling around by rule, even though it's in the back. Must stop by ICBA rules. Bob Lee dropping five dollars in the account. Thanks for cancel bucket. Thank you, Bob. Every dollar helps the family. As every we heard earlier. Every five hundred dollars helps the family. Going through cancer treatments or relative of a Candlefin baller. Candlefin's number four, cancer.com to donate 24-7 via Venmo. Candlefin's number four, cancer.com. We got roll offs to talk about too in just a moment. Two roll offs coming up. John doinks the head pin. Smith in the middle. Got jammed on that piece of wood, Winchell did. You got the ladies' top five live show January 13th. It's at 10 a.m. So Winchell, 7, 67 half. 8 for Joe Smith, 47 half. What a ladder that's going to be again. It's number one seed, Sonia Johnson. Number two seed, Sharon Britton. Number three seed, Glenn McKinley. Fourth seed, Melissa Ritchie. And number five seed, Nikki McKeever. What a battle that's going to be. 10 o'clock, Saturday, January 13th on Canopin Bowling Network. Trying to steal the strike, back Ooh. door, the Julian strike! Head pin the last to fall. Smith will take it, 57 plus two through six. They needed that one. Everyone's getting the flukes. Had to stop the bleeding somehow. It's good to see Dave back to the lineup though. Dave Bob won the captain. Academy too. Picks it up. Spare, another one. 77 the ball through six. Four marks and six for Winchell. Craig Holbrook, 39 the ball through four. Tim Jalbert, 36 in the ball through four. Canelfins for Cancer, season three, ladder two, kicks off at Butwell's Bowling Center. A week from tomorrow, Saturday, January 13th, 4 p.m., one shift only, 4 p.m. Tuesday, January 16th, 3 p.m. Thursday, January 18th, 3 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, January 20th and 21st, 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. $80 entry fee, $80 entry fee per shift. Unlimited shifts allowed. Candlepins number oh. four, cancer.com to bowl, in order to donate. Candlepins number four, cancer.com to bowl or to donate. Top five live show, February 10th at Butwell's, 12 noon. Women can bowl also. Holbrook, four in the fill. That was a weird fill he got. I think his ball tailed away at the last moment. Open here with the banana split plus the five. It's at 43 through four with that spare four. Tim Jalbert, 179. That's Candlepins number four. Cancel.com to register for the men's. Well, women's can bowl too. Scratch roll offs. But while it's bowling, it's on Concord, New Hampshire. January 13th to the 21st. First spare. Missed it. Tough lead for Holbrook. Spins it around. Push uh -oh. the five. Just missed the 610. Not by much. Jalba takes an eight. Same eight as it happens. 44 half. Craig Holbrook, 51 half. Past the halfway point of the final string. Ain't that the way? You hit three object pins as Craig Holbrook did, and you end up with an eight. 
for you non-scratch bowlers of the handicap bowlers out there at tournament for your big 20 at Scarborough, Maine. We'll talk about in just a moment. Ten Holbrook, pin. 10 pin for a spare. Jalbert in the pocket with a check mark. A lot of those tonight. I'll say. I think the spread eagle and the check marks have a dead heat. <laughs> May go to a seventh game with those two. Yeah, quite possibly. Holbrook for a spare, right on it. 61 in the ball through six. Jalbert unchecks the check mark. 54 in the ball through six. Back to the top of the order update from Mr. Greg Guyar. Here we are up to the top of the actual scoreboard. If this camera would focus, ah, uh, who cares right now? It's actually a nice cinematic effect. Four marks to three. Academy two actually has an extra mark because it happens right now, but Hingham just running away with this string right now. 17 marks to 11. Pinning is also nine in Hingham's favor. Here's Ayotte trying to make a difference here. He's got six in the fill. 69 through six. Chris Jones had double strike to start the string. He's at 88 through six. Steals nine, a tap of the one. And what does that leave Fayot has? <laughs> I couldn't see it when I was blocked out here. Oh, it was a check mark. I was doing a bit. Okay, I couldn't see it. Did obstruct the view back here on the ground level floor, you could say. Spare for Jones, stole it. You make a better door than a you make a better window. You make a better door than a window. We I know, we say, know what right? you meant. 98. <laughs> 98 in the ball through seven for Jones. Oh, my wife Aliyah is going to kill me. I mangled that saying. Yeah. What's in the word, right? <laughs> Chris Jones, effective five marks and seven with that double strike in there. Love his calm demeanor in the lanes. Strike bid nine. Eight pin for a spare. The Jimbo. Jones on the bonus. On the nose. Five middle, 6 10 right. 105 through 7. Just missed the Magic 106.7 promo again. Bummer. And it's got quite a few pieces of wood. I think they're all looking at the eight pin. Should be okay. Yeah. There's a spare for Jimbo. Yeah, all the red lines are looking at it. 89 of the ball through 8. Jones, tough leave. Got the 5, not the 6 10. Ayotte's been very accurate on the head pin all string, uh, all match long rather. He's not gonna, he's not probable to reach 400. Chris gets a nine, 114 through eight. So the scratch, the, the handicap, Kendall Pitts for Cancer, is coming to the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Leap year this year, February 20th, 29th, 12 noon, Wednesday and Thursday. March 2nd and 3rd, Saturday and Sunday, 12 p.m. on Saturday and 3 p.m. Sunday, one shift only, 12 p.m. Doubles only, any doubles, two men or two women, one man, one woman. Candlepins number four, cancer.com to register. Candlepins number four, cancer.com to register. This one is a $60 entry fee with 35 going to the prize fund for each bowler. Average is based on January 31st, 2024. Candlepins number four, cancer.com, 95%. Candlepins for cancer.com, 95% handicap, a 130 average. Barnes takes down nine. Ooh. Red hot on the spare, 97 through six. Baker in the pocket with a triangle, 2-4-5. 93 through six coming in. Baker has had pin perfect so far in the string. Barge for another mark. He's got it. What a string. Six marks. 107 of the ball through seven. Baker. Got it. 103 in the ball through seven. So Handicap Tournament, Big 20, Scarborough, Maine, February 28th, 29th, March 2nd, March 3rd. Candle pins number four, cancel.com to register. Unlimited shifts allowed, $60 per ball or 120 per team per shift. And to see all the information in case you missed any of that. In the top five live show, Saturday, April 13th, 12, 11 a.m., 11 a.m., the live show, February, uh, rather, April 13th. Top five. Live on Candlepin Bowling Network. That's right. The soothing sounds of Greg Gouya. Only the second time I said it. Thank you. 5 6 10 for Barnes on the spare 114 through 7. Jones 1 2 4 in front 6 10 right. Good piece of wood for Barnes for another mark. He got it. The wood came back for the five. Four marks in a row 124 and a ball through eight. Thank goodness the wood actually worked on that shot for a change.
Sean had four in a row earlier. Trying to go two in a row, but in the middle. And by that, I mean for most bowlers in most situations on that stupid setback shot, it just doesn't work. That flat piece of wood does nothing good for anyone ever. Five of that fill, 108 through seven. Hooks it, eight. 116 through eight. Baker is that propensity to loft, I say that word carefully, that ball further out there to try and collect pins when he's got a trickier leave. Hang him in control of the string and the match. And the marks are three apiece, four to three for Academy two right now. But don't count them out yet. They're getting late, but they can still win it. Total in jeopardy though, more than likely. If Hingham's marks start to fizzle, for example, that 67 pin lead could be deceptive. Dave Godwin, 6-10. Wickham on the nose, takes on the five and the six. NFL goal pulse, 7-10. Or CFL goal pulse also, if you will. Godwin right in the middle. Oh, brutal. Ouch, look at this leave. How often you see this one? 3-9 right, 2-4-7 left. Yep. What a strange leave. Whitcomb is a bevy of wood to use here. Right piece seems most likely like it would permit a ball deflection into the 10. The seven is easier. Like all the wood is staring at the seven. It's the 10 that's the hard part. Oh, With left. a spare, almost. Sent it in front. Cobwin in the hole. Second five box tonight, 63 through seven. Wickham gains five with a 10. After a spare eight, 89 through seven, 10, 99 through seven, 89 through six, 99 through seven. 80 pence. Hang on, trying to put this one away. It takes six big points on the road against last year's champions, Academy two. Four for Godwin, seven for Whitcomb. Oh, and then that wood runs away from the seven pin for Whitcomb. Sean's got two for one special on that sea of wood. Godwin, good bid, three, six, 10. He had a spare six to start, a strike three in the four, but a three box, a seven, and a five since then. So unlike Dave Godwin, really working his way back from a shoulder injury. Here it come, almost again, the ball comes back for the 10. Couldn't quite get there. And there was wood disappearing around the 10, rough. The captain, Dave Godwin, eight, 71 through eight. That wasn't really that bad a box. He was on the object for two and three, just got punchy on him. Bob gets the 10, 109 through eight. The first three balls, and a century club that threw eight boxes. And John Winchell on a spare, 77 the ball, three six, a chance to do the same thing. By the way, Baker can pin out 390. He has two boxes left with which to make that a 400. So he'll need two marks somehow, some way. Someone called that double as Smith missed the head pin. That was rude. <laughs> no, no 150s tonight. 29 balls have at least a 150 string this year. And 19 balls have at least one 400. Baker could reach 150, but he would need marks in nine and 10. 19 balls the 400, good try there. Winchell spare is four, 81 through six. Adds to the lead. This is, should be correct now. Smith seven on the strike, 70, Ooh. make that 64 through six. Good try by Winchell. Smith nine, 73 through seven. John Winchell, 10, 91 through seven. Final string winding down here at Academy Lanes, Pub 125, Averill Mass on Candlepin Bowling Network. Friday Night Pro League, game of the week. Right side, only six, one, two, seven, 10. Three pieces on the deck for Joe Smith. John Winchell, left side, three, two split. I mean, Winchell's likely to finish last out of his Hingham teammates, and he's going to get 332. That's not too shabby. Just all cylinders firing for the team in green. What a try by Smith. Won't go. Winchell 
Quincho, nice shot. Can't get to the 4 7. What was wrong with that? Hard to say. I mean, you're bowling four marks on a string. You've got to be doing a lot right. <laughs> One pin to get him in the Century Club also. The eighth box. Smith a nine. 82 through eight. 10, 101 through eight. All four balls, 100 plus. Craig Holbrook, 61 in the ball on the left. Tim Job on the right, 54 in the ball. And it's back to the top of the order to wrap it up. Next Friday night, Pro League Game of the Weeks. Academy won the seventh seed, number five seed. Central two at Central Park Lanes, East Boston, Mass. On Candle from Bowling Network, either Facebook and or YouTube. We broadcast on YouTube in high definition. Hit that subscribe button, like, follow, share. Jalbert takes down seven, one, three, six. 61 through six. Albrecht's turn on the spare, he gets four. 65 through six. Hingham looking good for six points right now, Greg. Another spare. 71 of the ball through seven, back to back for Jalbert. Holbrook, good bid, leads up to 4 7. Current mark situation is 19 marks to 15 for Hingham, so it's actually not that many more marks in their favor. They are gaining 15 and pinning, so basically two extra marks that way. Craig a 9, 74 through 7. Tim Jalbert a 150 high single this series, this season. 118.74 overall average in the Friday Night Pro League, 411 high series. Update from Bob Lee. All right, uh, Riverwalk is putting a big rally up in the third string lead by 38, and they brought the total to within 12. They're down to the last uh, 10 boxes. Tight one on, on our right, Riverwalk trying to tie Academy 1. Thanks, Bob Lee. 4 7 10 for Jalbert. Holbrook in the pocket. 5 7 10. Good grief. Very parallel wood. I think it's aiming the wrong way for Jalbert here. That is, if he hits the 4 7, it's likely to wood forwards and right of the wood. Though there is stuff in front of the 10. I just don't see how the physics equation works. Interesting, he's gone to the right side of the wood trying for a ball deflection and nothing doing. This be something for Holbrook. Give it a try. Ball bounce behind the five. Not a bad idea to leverage the lively sidewalls and pin deck. Five and the 10, no wood, no luck. Jalbert gets the 10, 88 through eight. Eight's a wild for Jim and Jalbert. Holbrook a field goal for an eight, just 82 through eight. Final 10 boxes. Update from Mr. Greg Guillard. So really the big drama right here is will Sean Baker hit 400? He's on 390 right now. I'm looking around, but I don't think anyone else has a realistic shot. Well, Austin Barnes actually is on three. Uh, if he gets a good count on his seven mark string working right now, he's got a case for it as well. He would have to really go for like nine marks at this point though. Chris Jones having a fine night, a fine string here, 114 through eight. Double strike to start. Has a pair of spare sevens also, 2-2 two -two split. On the bonus, 8-6-10 spare chance for Jimbo Ayotte, 97 through eight. Six nine, right, four seven left, two pieces of wood. A bulldozer, Jeff Walsh shot here. Give it a try. Six and a seven. Still that four eight into six nine ten was sensational from Jones earlier in the day. Jimbo cashes in back to back. Three out of four. Four in the string. And again, hey, it's only missed two head pins in this whole string. 97 through eight, 107 the ball through nine. Jones an eight, 122 through nine. He's been awesome all night. Trims the lead down just a little bit, but it's still. A long way to go, 58. A couple double strikes might be needed for Academy 2. Jones fires away. I was messing with a way Six. to have the lead indicator not disappear, but I didn't like the way it looked. It caused more confusion than not. Jimbo Ooh. only three. 110 through nine. Slice. 
Jones trying to wrap up with the spare. Only the head pin. 247, trying to get to 132. Jimbo, what a shot for a spare. Big time shot. Oh, so that's that in the that first one. ball. 120 in a ball in the 10th. Having a good night. Jones, object pin again. Eight, 130, final string. What a night he's had. 374. It's a strike for Jimbo and Spare. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Jimbo finish up strong. 130, final string. What's the total, Greg? Bring it 388. Sorry, the Jeff Walsh commotion threw me. Final eight boxes, Sean Baker on the right, Austin Hans left, Austin 124 in a ball. Sean Baker 116 through eight, not on a mark. Head pin hit, tough leave. Look at this one, five eight middle, six ten right, seven left. Well, he'll have earned the 400 the if he can manage this. Barnes on the bonus, only four, come back for more. Takes down eight, got a break. Look like a four two split, eight in the fill, 132 through eight. Yeah, Barnes has already faced this shot before. He shouldn't have to do it again. He's he had a 150 it also this season, his high series. Coming 114.87, 391 high series. What's not awful for Baker, but the six pin will probably be tricky if he hits that piece on the left. Baker, only one. Too low, he knew it. Barnes to the mark. Oh, oh how'd that not go? Mm. Tough break. He certainly didn't need the piece of wood there, that's for sure. Whoops. That one got away, six, one, 22 through nine for Baker. <laughs> Barnes gets the 10, no fault of his own. One, 42 through nine, a nine box to beat a season high. Barnes has only left one pin standing as a result of all that. His overall high single is 178. I appreciate people who duck our cameras even though they're not in the way at all. <laughs> they're used to it. Six for Baker. Barnes, four. Didn't come after the four that time. Baker only missed one head pin. Ah, Barnes does have this shot after all. Just fun to watch Sean Baker bowl. Just missed that time. Chester Cove's favorite. A couple for 131, final string. Don't quite get 400. I'll Barnes you, almost. <laughs> he nearly did it again. He beats his high single of 150. He's at 151 with those nine down. This season, of course. You have this season, right, in front of that program we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Baker grabs two for nine. 131, final string. For a 385. His season high in relief. Barnes picked it up for a 10. 152, final string. For 25 year old Austin Barnes for Academy 2. 382. Nice performance again. Give him a couple more years. Some great bowling tonight. Hingham's going to take six. Well, hold on. It's only. What's the lead now? Just 30 all of a sudden, right? Is that right? Uh, the lead is down to 30, yes. Wow, all of a sudden. Pins Plenty of time left. Pins were getting away from Baker for a second there, and Ayotte stacked on two marks there. That might be the reason why. And that's, a still one a tall, that's still a tall order, but not impossible to your point, Paul. And a 1-5 center Wister for Wickham. Ouch. Yeah, we could get into a pinning fight here. About four of the eight. Decent mix. 3-2 split. Could use it somehow. Won't go. Good try. Wood's rolling, but turning. Not enough mustard. Pins might matter, though. Wickham, good bit of the object pin. Won't carry. 4-7, 3 right. And the 7 was hit, but it didn't drop. 7 box. 
One sixteen through nine. Dave gains three with a ten. Big pins. Eighty-one through nine. Really bared down. Leads on that down shot. to twenty-seven, just like that. And you could say they're in striking distance. Need a double strike more than likely. Still, five box to go. And no marks on the board, either side. Wicca, beautiful ball. Another split. Six ten right. Seven left. Would go to the left. Of six might help. Garwood for a strike. Nine. Needs to cash in here. Seven pin for a spare. They've got robbed uh, a lot. Wood is string. Nope, Wood's not helping here. He's got to get the seven pin clean. With his left to right break, it is challenging. Always want to go right to the pin. For right hander, it's much easier than the left hander. Wickham, as the Wood rolled away, got the seven. Garvin needs it. Gets it. Who needs the Wood? Big spare in the tenth. 91 on the ball. Can cut it to the teens. Basic rule of candle pin cannot play the wood in the channel. Good dodge there. Wickham gets the 10. 126, final string. Which is three string total for uh, Wickham? Wickham is uh, 365. I thought there's 366 days this year. Leap here. I was, I was, thank you. You beat me to it. <laughs> great minds think alike. Well, you have a great mind. Godwin, beautiful ball. Nine. Big pins. It's down to the teens. 100 final string for the captain. It's an 18 pin lead. Four boxes to go. No marks on the board. Academy 2 looking for the split down 46 in the match. That may not be reachable now. I never figured out what that image flicker is, but hopefully it hasn't been too distracting. I regret. Let's move the scoreboard down. Winchell versus Smith. John 101. Joe Smith, 82 through eight. No marks either side. Final four box of the match. Crossover. Winchell, look at this. On the crossover, 5 7 10. Decent wood to work with. Two to the left, one to the right. Smith, nine. Also crossed over, also left the king, but that's a much better leave. Couldn't see it from here. Clean shot to five. Sometimes it goes vice versa on the vantage point. For a spare, no, good try. Yeah, double wood jammed him up there. Maybe the lower piece would have given him more Smith luck. Smith could use it, oh. and he missed it, ouch. Oh dear. That hurts. Still boxes remaining. John a nine, and not a good time for the Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. My three time quarter is over. <laughs> 92 through nine, John went to 110 through nine, but trims one off the lead, it's 17. Which means that no one else Dang will on. throw one. <laughs> Hang on, might need to mark out. More than likely need to mark out. John Winchell, 2-1 split. Academy 2, of course. 3-6 right, 4 left. Smith on the crossover. 9 again! Just missed last one for a spare. That would have been a good fill. That would have cut up to 8 pins. Now it's the six pin for a spare. No time like the present. I made that quip earlier about the most important ball is the one in your hand. Oh, what a shot for Winchell, clutch, wow! 120 the ball, Smith, spare! 102 in the ball in the eighth, in the tenth. Sensational by Winchell as he get his fifth mark of the string. Just a couple of those tonight, and a spread eagle conversion without wood for Craig Holbrook earlier. Yeah, Hingham's made some dandies. Mitchell on the bonus, then hit five. 125, final string. Smith on the no, strike! Big five gain there. 112, final string. Your totals, not uh, Greg? Joe Smith, 329. John Winchell, 336. Margin in the string is 12. It's a dozen pin lead for Hingham, trying to get six points. Academy two, trying to make it four piece. Three versus four, a good one. On Canelpin Bowling Network. An earnest handshake between Winchell and Smith. You actually probably saw it on camera there. Probably others between the bowlers. I just had my head down. Believe me, the thought of this string being close is running through Tim Jalbert's mind at the moment. One, three, nine, ten for Holbrook. Six for Tim Jalbert. Now it's seven. One, three, ten. Not the most helpful wood, but not the worst pins. The final two blocks of the match. Holbrook for a spare. 
Yes. Went through. 92 to ball through nine. Java needs it. No. Yes. yes. On the delay. Make up a mind spare. Got a 98. Got love tap from the wood. 98 and a ball in the ninth. You need a double though to win. That's not a spare until you fill it. Well, if Holbrook's filled fizzles. Depends on the fill, right. Mm -hmm. More than likely though. The final box of the match. Thanks for watching this great game. Share with your friends and family. Fighting the bowl. Can't the bowling. Holbrook. Drops nine. Monstrous. Another force, double strike for Jalbert. 101 through nine. Ooh. Almost. Will it go? No. And Hingham is going to take six points on the road. What in tarnation, they say. 107 through nine. What a bid by Jalbert. Over gets to go in slow motion. Back to back. Don't hurt him, Craig. 110 of the ball in the 10th. Jalbert spared. Back to back. 117 in the ball. He's having a fine night. That's six all. points. I still haven't fin finished my chicken tenders. I know. But you could buy next time then. <laughs> well, what do you know? Another spread eagle punch. Now let's see a check mark and it'll be perfect. Five for Holbrook on the fill. Ends up with a 116 string officially. <laughs> Nine fill for Tim Jalbert. Ends up with a 126. What are their three string totals? There we are. So Craig Holbrook ends up with 373. Tim Jalbert, 392. That's tops of anyone. He got those 219 boxes on the end. Final score, 1833 to 1797. So Hingham averaging north of 120 across the board. And applaud the F Academy, too. They were way down. That string only lost by eight. Yeah, Austin, Austin Barnes, crucial. 152. Huge in that effort. We see just how well rounded the effort was from Hingham. And now let's take a look at the totals. So there we see it. Sean Baker, 385, was tops there. A couple 373s as well from Jones and Holbrook. And then 392 Jalbert, 388 Aya, 382 Barnes. And there we have it. Just more well rounded across the board for Hingham. And that's how they come away. Six to two with uh, Academy taking the. What was it? Second string. All right, so no interviews tonight, Greg. Why don't you wrap it up for us here? Sounds good. So on behalf of Bob Lee, on behalf of that Paul Grant there, my name is Greg Guillard. Thank you very much for watching this presentation of the Friday Night Pro League and Candlepin Bowling Network. And until next time, so long. Yeah, where's the stop?